Oh, shit. We're starting already? Yeah, we're starting already. <laughs> Damn. Yo, what up? Hello. <laughs> Hi. Um, I don't even know how this stuff works. So I'm, a, I'm, a, so I'm on the television. Okay, I see. I see. All right. This makes sense. Yeah. Hi, guys. Hello. I'm talking to you from my TV. How does it feel to be in it? Uh, it feels great. <laughs> so uh, the, the show is called Speak of the Devil? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm the devil. Accurate. Really? Oh, I thought I was. Oh, wait, are we competing? <laughs> I don't I don't know if you want to do that. Oh, okay. I probably might lose. I think you're more devilish than me. <laughs> Is that right? Probably. <laughs> I, I think so. I mean, like, it, it's like, you know, I've got like the little bit of a Disney villain smile if the Disney villain didn't have any teeth. You what? know, I think that's just about right. Oh, wh wait, what's your favorite? Do you have a favorite Disney villain? Uh, not really. I mean, I think that, uh, I like Gaston. That oh. guy was a huge, that guy was such a dickhead. Yeah, he was a huge asshole. Oh my yeah, god. I, love him. I, 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 the best. I, I hate him, but I, he's like my favorite one to hate. Yeah, I know. It feels good to hate him, and you, you never feel wrong for hating him. You never think to yourself, like, man, maybe he's just been misunderstood. No, he's not misunderstood. He's an asshole, and everybody knows it. That's all there is to it. And that's fine. It's all right to be an asshole, you know? Sometimes you just got an asshole. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I mean, my viewers are here, so they know that. <laughs> Some yeah. people wrote in the chat, uh, Jafar. <laughs> Okay, all right. Uh -oh. Okay, all right, guys. Listen, what, what do I have to get the turban to? Oh my god, thanks, oh god. guys. <laughs> he was misunderstood. Yeah, sure. <laughs> he is. He's a mm -hmm. misunderstood guy, you know? It's not his fault. I mean, he was just trying to, you know, become the most powerful being, and then I'm sure after that, he'd want to help everybody out, right? With all of his power. I mean, the people in charge, he. Uh, the, it seems like he was trying to do his best, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, I, did you ever see the new uh, Aladdin, like, the live-action one? Uh, no, I never did. What the fuck is it with people making live-action shows oh, of, a, of a cartoon? <laughs> it makes me so mad. It's true. It's like it, the latest it's just, You're, you're ruining it. Yeah! Sometimes, just leave it be, you know? Yeah, just let it let it be a cartoon. It's like the Cowboy Bebop. Like, oh my God, oh, leave God. that back in the two thousands. Oh my God, don't get me started on that. That that show is so fucking bad. <laughs> I I so like I watched like a little bit of the first episode and then I was like on my phone and I don't remember really what happened. I saw there was a bunch of drama about it, and that was about the last time I thought about it. I I tried I tried because I really liked the original show like yeah. a lot. But I tried watching it, and I, I'm kind of like like you, where it's like I couldn't get past the first episode. I I just couldn't. It was just so bad. And then so, yeah, I saw I saw that they had like Edward, like Ed at the end. Uh huh. <laughs> and uh, I I didn't see enough of it to even get that far. Well, I I I didn't watch it. I saw a clip on Twitter, and I'm like, what the oh. fuck? <laughs> it's like so. This is the thing, right? Is like you think that's bad. Imagine being a Halo fan right now. Uh, oh my god. Uh, like they show Master Chief's face. This is this you just don't do that. You don't true. do that. And they just did it. It's true. Oh, it's you know what that reminds me of? The new that new Buzz Lightyear movie that's gonna come out. And it's like oh. hyper realistic Buzz Lightyear, and I'm like, what the fuck? I don't wanna that's see gonna... him like that. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I don't want to see his pores. Like, that's weird. He's a toy. He's plastic. Like, let him just be a, a plastic toy. Yeah. It's like things get so realistic. It's too much. For Like, by the way, did you, like, per chance see that one? Uh, it was like a video of an Unreal 5. And it was showing, like, a, a train station. And it looked, like, photorealistic. But it was a game. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, I'm, like, not even kidding. Like, you can have your chat show you later on. That shit looks straight up, like, real life. I was thinking to myself, Sword Art Online is one year closer. Oh, my God. I cannot wait. Did you did you like Sword Art oh, Online? <laughs> I did not watch the first season. I did. I thought it was great. It was, like, I so I, I watched Sword Art Online, and I was, like, is this a realistic game? Uh, you know, a realistic show about MMOs. 
So first episode, it had guys pretending to be girls. And, and then for the first half Happens. of the first season, yeah, uh, they had a higher level male character running lower level female characters through the dungeons. And I thought to myself, this is actually pretty fucking right. <laughs> Very true to life. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was just about right. Yeah, I watched the whole first season. I thought it was great. Good. Don't want People anything said more. This, <laughs> and that's the, uh, like the thing is, you know, my dad, my dad's like, don't stick a fork in the in the electrical outlet. You're going to you're going to zap yourself. And I'm like, all right, dad, I'm not going to do it then. OK, that's fine. And I just never did it. And I felt the same way with Sword Art Online. Everybody <laughs> says that. I'll take your word. It's true. That's fine. It's true. It's just it's just one of those things where it's like. If Kirito is involved, it's bad. But then, like, the previous season that came out, he was in a coma, so it was kind of good. <laughs> I have no... I, I can't I can't tell you. I have no idea. And so, well, I guess he is in kind of a coma in the first season. I, I mean, like, that is one way to look at it. I, do you think that we're ever going to get... Uh, like, do you think that we're going to get there? Oh, man. I wish, because uh, I'm kind of... You know, I mean, let's not let's not uh, dance around the elephant in the room. I am I I have issues, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we've discussed that I have issues, and mm -hmm. I'm very much aware that like I I can't really like be around people a lot, and it would be really fucking cool to be able to like interact with people in like an environment where it felt like it was like fucking real. <laughs> oh, I I hope so. I think we're like uh, people told me we're like 15 away from Neuralink. I don't know if it's gonna be that soon. I hook up my fucking I brain. <laughs> Yep, yep, hook my brain. Put me in the cloud. Put me in the cloud, Mark Zuckerberg. I'm ready to go to war. Oh, like, like, let's go. I'm ready to fight dragons. Like that fucking uh, Black Mirror episode where they put the lady in an egg and she was like, Oh, in yeah, the world. where it's like all the different time periods. Yeah, I like that episode. Yeah. <laughs> that, like that shit gave me, that. like, it gave me an existential crisis. It only lasted for an entire month. Oh, my God. Do you get that yeah. all the time, too? I. <laughs> I used to, and then I realized, um, like, every time I, I, I would get into that, I will read something on Twitter that makes me mad, and then I'll forget about, like, the scope of the universe. Because, uh. like, some guy said some shit, and just like, like what the, why, well, how could he say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twitter... How could he say that shit? <laughs> Twitter's kind of Yeah, like, so I, I'm distracted. It's yeah, good, yeah, I'm distracted. It's good to be distracted, though. Do you? No, I'd, I'd say so for sure. I have a question. Okay. Since you said you have like existential crisis. Do you, do you like space? So I do because like, but like, I, I think to myself, like, how does anybody really know if a black hole is real? You know what I mean? Cause like, how the fuck, like how, how do you know this? Like I, nobody saw it. It's like, I, I, like, I don't know. It's true. It's true. It's true. I fucking hate space. <laughs> really? I, so. <laughs> All right, uh, a long time ago, I got really high. <laughs> yeah. I got really high, and uh, I I looked up into space uh, while I was uh -huh. uh, medicated. That's what I like to. I yeah. use the word medicated, and uh, right. I had like this moment where it's like I remembered like a teacher of mine like saying, "Oh, did you know that when you look at stars." The stars you're seeing are not the same stars that are actually dead. in the sky. Yeah, they're already dead. And yeah. then, like, I got into, like, a loop in my brain, like, oh, my God, what is real? What is happening? How, how do we know how far, like, things go in space? Like, what if there's, is there something there? Is there nothing there? Where are the black holes? Where are this? And I was just, like, uh, I, I, I went into, like, a panic. No, I understand. Well, what about, like, all right, you talk about, like, space. That's really big. But what about, like, the moon? Ugh. Does the moon freak you out? The moon kind of freaks me out, but not as bad as like if when I think about there's a black hole somewhere and it could eat us. <laughs> so for a while, remember Majora's Mask? Yeah, oh, God. Yes. I was like, how? Because well, the Earth is moving around all the time. The moon yeah. is moving around all the time. Like, what if there's just like a, like, I don't know, like some crazy shit could happen where like the moon hits the earth, right? Like, what if that happened? Oh, God. And I was worried about that for like a whole year. <sighs> That's something I would worry about too, for no reason. Yeah. Because I just, I think like there was like, I read like an article like, oh, the moon is going to be X amount closer to us. And then I was like, <sighs> what is this? What is yeah. stopping it? Oh, like, what yeah, yeah. Is this just the beginning? 
Oh God. Yeah, is this phase one? No, I I know that exactly. It's, like I would, that would freak me out too. It's terrifying. Mars is terrifying. Have you ever listened to like there's these there's these videos on like YouTube where they have like radio frequencies and like they show you like the sounds of planets. No, I never have heard of that. Like, what the fuck? How do they know that? I, I, I don't even fucking know. But, like, if your chat ever, like, shows you the video, it... I swear to God, there's, like, clips of me freaking out because, like, I'm telling you Saturn legit sounds like fucking hell. Like, people are screaming. Oh, my God. Like, that's that's crazy. Yeah, it's I... like they use, like, wa radio waves or whatever. I don't understand how they do yeah. it. But they, they have, like, each planet has, like, a sound. So it's not like, because, like, whenever I think about, like, each planet would have, like, a sound, like, how many planets would you, because, like, you know, there's infinite space, right? Yeah. So, theoretically, there's a planet that sounds like dubstep out there. There must be. Like, theoretically, like, based Ooh. off of that that logic, right, there has to be a planet that literally sounds like dubstep. It's, like, yeah. in the background all the time. Yeah, there's, um, oh, shit, you know what? I just remembered there's this one it wasn't like i don't know if it was like a planet it was like these two weird like stars that like circle each other i don't even uh -huh. know the name of it but it sounded like dubstep now, I, i'll be honest like i i remember whenever dubstep got popular because they ruined all my favorite songs with them oh god <laughs> like I, I actually i hated that shit so much like I, it, like if i was on that planet i would want to go to another one i'll tell you that i hated dubstep so much like remember remember that like back in 2008 2009 like oh, any god. song they just randomly add a drop into it it's like wait a minute like i take my headphones off for this it was shit everywhere it was everywhere Ugh. infecting every single part of the music yep. genre but what's your favorite kind of music like what do you like to listen uh to Okay, so, like, I will listen to anything as long as it's not, like, you know, like, that new country music where they, ah. they, uh, they sing, they, they sing according to, like, they've got a, they've got, like, a page, and, and it's, like, they're doing a checklist, Jesus, cold beer, Jesus again, America, pickup trucks, West Virginia, and it's, like, oh, my God, what are you gonna talk about next? Like, what is this? <laughs> it, it's not, it's, like, like back in the trailer park, like holy fuck, like right? it's it's so boring. So I hate that, right? Yeah. Like old country, like the actual like folk music, like I can get into that a little bit. Other than that, though, I tell you, like before they had this whole DMCA horse shit on Twitch, I would listen to all kinds of music, whether it's Kendrick Lamar, Skrillex, you yeah. know, even the dubstep stuff was actually pretty good. And uh, you know, Carmel dancing. Uh, I'm, I'm sure as a uh, as an anime girl, you would completely understand that. Do you do you love Carmel dancing? Yeah. Do you know how to do it? I did. I I don't know how to do it anymore. I I did. I I'm I'm 31 years old now. I'm not fucking doing that shit it's again. It's okay. You can do it at any age. You can be an old man and do the Carmel dancing. That's You're what young. I'm afraid of. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I hear from from uh, people that are younger than me that try to make me feel better. Yeah, no, I, it's okay. It's okay. I have a great solution to your problem. Yeah? I think that you should maybe become a VTuber for one day. <laughs> so, th 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 everybody think like, oh, wow, he would never do that? Actually, listen. So, like, all right, all right, all right. I'll tell you a story, right? So, I was... <laughs> I was watching streams of like, you know what, you know, there's a lot of VTubers obviously and like just chatting, etc. But where's another place that there's a lot of VTubers? Final Fantasy. Big surprise. <laughs> and so uh, I'm going down the list looking at Final Fantasy streams and I see a cat girl with big ass titties. <laughs> and so I think to myself, oh my God, this is it. And so I click on the profile and it's like this. Oh, hey, guys, what's going on? All right, everybody come <laughs> on over here. And it's a guy. And I'm like, wait, what? Like, it's like, it's straight up. Like, you just, I just got baited. Like, they're not even trying. There's like no voice changer. There's no like, oh, girl that doesn't have a mic because her dad's overprotective <laughs> alibi or anything. No, it's just a guy that's pretending to be a girl. And it's obvious. 
and actually I became friends with him and we played together before. Right. And, oh. and so it was nice. Yeah. It's nice, nice little ending of the story, but I would, I would use a VTuber avatar. Sure. Yeah. Would uh, you, that'd be okay. Would you be, would you be a cat girl or would you be like, what would your VTuber persona be? You know, the guy in Sesame street that lives in the garbage can. <gasps> like, Oh, Oscar the Grouch. Oscar. Oh. That's right. Oh, that would be yeah. really cool. Wait, you would be a Muppet. <laughs> I don't know about a Muppet, but I think I just use that as inspiration. You could be... Actually, there is a VTuber that's like a guy that lives out of a garbage can. So do you think... All right, let, let's, 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 let's get into red pill or black pill territory. Do you Whoa. think that it's possible for a VTuber to be successful with a guy avatar? Yeah, especially now. Really? I feel like... I, yeah, yeah, what? yeah. I feel like now male VTubers are like the hot thing right now. Oh my god. Like... <sighs> That's nuts. I had no idea that was a thing. Wow. You can totally be like a sexy VTuber, like demon guy or, or a sexy cat boy. It's like, I, I think the closest thing we had before was like Saikuno, but I didn't know that there was actual people that did that. Oh my God. Yeah, I have, uh, there's actually a uh, person. Well, I mean, he's not a person anymore. He's a VTuber now. Yeah. I converted him. Okay, I've, good. I've converted many people. I could convert you. He's turned you. into a JPEG. <laughs> or a GIF, sorry. Oh, who, you or me? Well, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, no, it's okay. Okay, okay. I just want you to be comfortable. I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. I think that the only time I feel uncomfortable is whenever I'm out of my house. Oh, that, you know, I think a lot of people feel that way, though, so. It's yeah. Fine. <laughs> Yeah, uh, in my house, I'm I'm safe in my house. Uh, I'm chilling. What could go wrong? Chill. Why do people say bald yep. VTuber? He's not bald. Well, I know, and that's uh, this is a very very delicately construct delicately constructed uh, facade, ah. and uh, it, like imagine like here's the thing, right? Is like you, you, your girl don't really like you don't know how this is, right? But look. Imagine if like imagine like different things are like Pokemon, right? So you know how uh, like if, if bald people are Pokemon, their weakness would be win Pokemon, because like all it would take. It, I'm telling you, like I am literally walking to the. I'm walking up to Walmart, and it's blowing my hair up, and I, I like I don't even know if they're gonna let me into Walmart. Like Wear I'm gonna get hat. like a drug test to go in there. Say what? Wear a hat. Where that's what they do. And so, like, there's these guys, right? And, like, I'm going to be honest, Keemstar is one of them, right? Oh. And, 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 like, who do you think you're fooling, Keem? <laughs> we know your ass is bald. Like, what are you doing? It's obvious. Like, you're not fooling anybody, <laughs> man. And, like, so that's why I don't wear a hat. Because, like, it's like if you wear a hat, it's like basically you gave up. Oh, my God. You know? <laughs> It's like, if, you know, like whenever a fucking brand puts out a YouTube video and they disable likes and dislikes, oh, God, it's like, yeah. you know why that is, right? Because people are going to roast the shit out of them. <laughs> it's true. It's it's, true. That's what it's like. It's the same. Remember whenever ninjas start wearing that headband? Uh-uh, man. That's not a headband. That's a hairline band. <laughs> we know what that is. Don't try to fool nobody. Ah, you know, ladies have to worry about that, too. There is lady balding now. Yeah. You know, it's well, stressful. I heard about that. Will Smith smacked the shit out of somebody for it. Oh, my God. <laughs> you can't say that. Well, it happened. You can't say I, I, that. I thought you couldn't do that, but he just went up there and did. You can't say that. We're going to get canceled. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's totally fine. Like, I, I it, listen, there was one time I, I did get canceled. You did? Uh, I didn't know about it, though, so it was okay. Oh yeah, it, like I, like I, I was like basically like hanging out with my friends that day, and I came back home, and like people were like, "Man, did you know you got canceled today?" I was like, "No, I had no idea," and uh, they informed me that this happened, and uh, I'm like, "Wow, that's crazy!" So like, should I go live tomorrow, or is it over? <laughs> and that was, that was about <laughs> it. That's the the biggest of chads. Just keep on going. You can't, you can't cancel you can't them let for people long. Like that control your life. It's yeah. true. It's true. I, I, I'll have to say though, I was very surprised when the whole Will Smith thing happened because I just, I didn't expect. You know, he always seems so like nice. <laughs> well, the thing is, like, uh, it, it's like that woman. It like I don't know 
but it certainly seems like that woman is driving him insane. Like, I, I'm going to be honest, like, at those videos I saw, oh, my God, man. I, like, I feel bad for him. I don't know. I, I don't know much about it because, you know, I'm an anime girl, so I don't really keep up with, yeah. like, flesh current events sometimes. So That's I'm smart. kind of out of the loop. But I just know him from, like, his movies and, like, interviews that I've seen him do. And I'm just like, yeah. I just never thought I'd wake up and be like, oh, Will Smith smacked a guy. <laughs> Well, like, everybody thought, like, speaking of flesh, people don't even know that. Some people think they're lizards. <gasps> That's true. Yeah, they thought this whole thing was fake. And like, it's, like, part of a global uh, uh, agenda to try to keep people in, in that mindset. Oh, my God. Like Mark Zuckerberg. It's like, you know that thing on the back of the dollar, the triangle thing? Yeah, the, the Illuminati that's the one. thingy. Yep, that's the fucking one. Oh, God. <laughs> That thing scares me. <laughs> I, I'll be honest, like, I've seen some, like, you know, because, like, you'll see, like, these YouTube video and it's, like, a documentary and it's, like, definitive proof that Bigfoot exists. And um, you get through the whole video, it's 35 minutes long, and uh, it's just, like, nothing. You know, there's maybe a picture of a forest, and that was it. Have you seen that, that a YouTube channel from that one guy that he says he has, like, Bigfoot in his freezer? No, I haven't. There's this one guy that he he's like supposedly like the Bigfoot expert and he has Bigfoot parts in his freezer. He has like his actual foot, but it's like something that he made out of like cabbage and stuff and he pretends like it's Bigfoot and he's he's very knowledgeable about something that doesn't exist. <laughs> I think that's impressive. I really do. Like I thought about setting up a YouTube channel completely anonymously. And just, like, making up conspiracy theories and seeing how many people I could get to believe them. Oh, that sounds very like interesting. I, I had, like, a, an idea, right, that, like, uh, I, I was going to say that China, instead of going to the moon, uh, they went to the sun. But they went at night, so nobody would see it. And because the sun wasn't as hot, they were able to land on it, and they have the flag on there. <laughs> but nobody can see it. That's right, because they, they don't know what that is. And, and and just put the video out and just see see how many. It, it's like, you know, you're fishing, right? You just put out the line, put out some bait, see who bites down. Oh, you can use uh, you can use a footage from that movie where they went to the sun. No, I, I think that the, the less footage that you use, see, like the footage that you want to use is interviews from the 1980s with bad quality of former NASA astronauts and like just have them saying something that's completely unrelated and then extrapolate that into it being true. Oh, you're smart. Yeah. You're a genius. Oh, I've seen a million of these. Uh, oh. it, it, they're, it, they're really something. I see them on Twitter all the time and I see oh, a lot really? of like, yeah, they, they like to, sometimes people like splice it in with the whole like, when like the Mars thingy happened and uh, was it Mars or, oh, the thingy went on like that planet. What the fuck planet was it? Venus, I think. I don't even know. Was it your, I, I remember there was a Uranus one, but like, no, I, I feel like scientists don't want to talk about Uranus because nobody will take it seriously. It's true. It's true. Yeah, it's like it's like it's not really a planet. It's like how Pluto isn't a planet, but Uranus is just a meme. It is. It's a meme planet at this point. People just really don't care. I wonder what moron thought it was a good idea to call it that. I don't. I don't know. I. I That's I'm a mistake. Curious because that like what the. F <laughs> yeah, I mean, like of all of all the things that you could call it, you decide to call it that. Oh my God. What Seems a mistake like people, that was. People know more about this than us because people are like the Romans, the Greeks, I don't know. The Mayans. So what's the what's the craziest conspiracy theory that you believe? Oh mm. you, I, I know you might not want to reveal your power level. Mm, I you know, I, I don't really know. I, I don't really consume many conspiracy theories. Uh, yeah. because I I end up like freaking myself out and then thinking, what if yeah. it is true? And then I have like a existential crisis and then I have like a meltdown for like two months. Yeah. So what I, I, I did for a long time, and this is how I handle it, is um, like I, I don't really give a shit anymore. And I just like to I just I just get on the computer and have fun that day. And whatever happens, happens. 
That's dangerous. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is what it is, right? You just go on there, just roll your face on the keyboard, have fun, and that's about it. And, and I don't really worry. Like, I'll read the crazy shit that happens, and oh my god, there's some crazy shit that happens. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but, you know. I do have one. Birds aren't real. Okay. So that they're actually, uh, so I know this one, of course, right? Mm. I'm basically an, I'm an expert in uh, degeneracy. So like any, uh, any degenerate sexual fetish, any stupid conspiracy theory, any weird type of deviant art, not only do I know about it, but I probably know more than most people about it. Oh, yeah. So yeah, birds, basically birds were developed by the CIA uh, in order to spy on people and uh, there's like T-shirts and there's a whole website about it, right? Yeah. Yep, that's right. I, I'm afraid of birds. That's why I believe that theory. Why are you afraid of birds? I have trauma from when I was a, a, a wee cartoon. Okay. <laughs> when I was a young Satan, uh, okay. I, I, I uh, was at a fake relative's house. and uh, <laughs> Right. I was at my uncle's house. It's like a and... crossover episode? Yeah, it was like a crossover yeah. episode. I was at my uncle's house, and like uh, my uncle has a bird, and he likes to like release him from time to time and have him like fly oh around. But I was yeah. a kid, and I had my hair in pigtails, and like the bird landed on my head, and his feet got caught in my hair, and he was like stuck, and his talons were like digging into my head, and I freaked out. And ever since then, I've been afraid of birds. <laughs> we used to have a bird, but we would let it out, and it would fly into the wall. <gasps> ah! That's all it would do. It would just fly into the fucking wall. Oh. And so we're finally like the bird's name. His name. Her name is Birdie. I'm like, we got. We can't let Birdie out the cage, man. <laughs> he just going wherever the fuck he wants. What kind of bird was it? It's a uh, cockatiel. It's like oh. one of those like brown cockatiels or parakeets, something like that. Oh, I, I, don't I don't know exactly. I don't. My uncle's bird is like this weird. It was like a green like parrot or whatever, like a green bird, and it has. Oh, so like, it's like that's like an elite bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like he's, okay. He's a very important bird. Yeah. But he's probably dead so, now. <laughs> Uh, honestly, they're probably not. Like oh, those God. things live for like eighty years. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, these like these birds live forever. So it's like if you teach the bird something, like you're going to have to deal with that shit for the rest of your life. Wait, how long do fucking birds live? What the fuck? I I know that some yeah, parrots like they they go on for a while. I have no idea. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Like a, you know a turtle, you know there's a uh, uh, types of uh, sharks that live in the deep ocean 500 years old. Can you believe Ugh. that? 500 fucking years. That's a 500 year old shark. Oh my god, that's crazy. The shark has seen some things. Yeah, he sure. Well, no, he hasn't actually because back down there it's below the light and they that's can't see true. shit down there. But you know, like, it, it, but he's maybe heard some things, maybe eaten some things. Ah, that's true. Maybe eaten some people. Yeah, exactly. Well, maybe. I, I don't know about that. Maybe. Like, I never worry about a shark attack. Like, because the thing is. I always, it's like, isn't Aquaman a joke? You just get out of the water. Oh my God. I. You, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but what kind of a superhero was that? Lame ass superhero power. I can't believe it. People yeah. People are going to be like, what the fuck, Mouse? How can you not like Aquaman? It's Jason Momoa. His powers suck balls. <laughs> well, it, it's like, oh, see, here's how I learned about this. Did you ever play Age of Empires 2? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm Okay, so like, obviously, anybody who plays Age of Empires 2 knows this, right? Is like there are maps where there's like islands and stuff. And so I just build my shit where it's not next to the water. And then they build a bunch of, they build a whole navy and they can't do anything with them. Yeah. And so they're just sitting there moving around, can't do nothing. And I'm like, wow, look at that. Well, what, what are those ships doing now? They ain't doing shit. You could and that was all I did. Like, that, you know, you don't have yeah, to interact yeah, with water. Yeah, I don't go to the water. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Like, it would be cool if you could ride a shark, though. Oh, that would be pretty yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't even but, know how to swim, though, so. <laughs> it, it's like there was a there's a time that, uh, like, my mom was, like, a, really into, like, mythology and, like, Greek mythology. And so she taught me all about it. There's oh. this kid in my neighborhood, and she taught this kid about the Kraken. He thought that shit was real. <laughs> like, that shit was real. He's like, wait a hold up. 
So it eats ships. You're telling you wait. So you tell me it eats ships. And she's like, oh, no, it's not real. It's not real. And he thought yeah, he thought that she was lying to him. I, I think that fucked him up for life. What the? F yeah. Yeah. But, you know, technically there are like giant squids and shit, but they're not. There just, are. Like Kraken level, but they're huge. Maybe there is. Like, I never, like, that's one conspiracy. I that's think true. maybe there's a chance that there's like some crazy ass shit, like some giant squid or something like that in, in the ocean. Or like something that could just like eat a, a ship, but we just don't know what it is. Uh, that's true, cause it's like, have you ever seen? I mean, people haven't explored all the ocean, so they wouldn't fucking know. That's right. They don't. They have no idea. So there's a good chance there could be a kraken. Exactly. Oh my god, the concept of the Mariana Trench scares the shit out of me. <laughs> it's like I. I remember, like, I always wonder, like, what would it be like down there? But then I remember that, like, you'd just be dead, so, like, it wouldn't really matter. It's true. But, it's like, true. it would be, like, it's like they have those little angler fish with that little light on their head. I always thought that was cool. Yeah, me too. Oh, I played Dungeons and Dragons one time. I did a D&D yeah. campaign, and I I was a bard, and I modeled my Triton bard after an angler fish because I, I love Wait, really? Them. Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah. Like, I... I I don't know if I would love them because they have giant teeth. They probably bite your bite, bite your arm off. But yeah, they're scary. you know they they look cool. They look really cool. They are, and they have a little light, and I think that's pretty awesome. Yeah. So like, do you do you play like any any games or anything? Uh, or you just like sit here and chill? <laughs> I like because you know, I don't. I used to play video games, but I just decided fuck that. Yeah. Do you do a lot of like uh, React Andy stuff now? That's all I do. Like, well, I don't really just do that. Sometimes I'll go on like a rant and it will last for six hours. Oh, but that's good. That's entertaining. Yeah. I don't know how, but somehow, yeah, people tune in for that shit. It's fun. People like to listen to your opinions and then argue about them online and be like, well, they I love didn't arguing agree. about them. I didn't agree with yeah. what he said. Well, that's fine. I'll ban him in chat. <laughs> yeah, problem solved. Fuck him. Let's go. Fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. No, I understand that. I, I used to play a lot of games. Like, I, I usually do, but, like, I feel like I've... I feel like I'm not as good as I used to be, so I just said, fuck it. I'm just gonna chill and have fun. I have that problem. I'm not good at games, but I like to play yeah. them, but I don't think I'm good at them. I like, like, horror games, but I love Vampire Survivors. Oh, oh wait, really? I do! Wait, so you actually, you played, like, I mean, I know you told me you, you saw me play it, but, like, you, you, you actually like the game? I do, I love the game. I just, uh, the last update, I haven't played it because uh, I've been very busy. So I haven't been able to get the achievements from the last update. But uh, I also haven't been able to fight death because I feel like it's a lot. <laughs> it is. Like, I spent, like, probably a week figuring it out. And, like, I have, do you have that character that's just a big ball sack? Yeah, I got the ball sack character. Yeah. He is so good, isn't he? Oh my god, I love it. He's I mean, the best. I love playing with him because he just melts everyone. It's so great. Yeah. He's so yeah, great. I play with the ball sack all the time. Like, oh. that's like, that's my main character. Do you ever just like turn off your brain and you're just like, you're just like, I'm just going to be a ball sack for a while and just play Vampire Survivors and just not think about uh, anything? Yes, but minus the Vampire Survivors part and ah. all the time. Yeah, that's just about right. Yeah, I'll usually do that. <laughs> yeah, and, and like that's what I'll do is I'll actually like I'll kill time on my stream just by like randomly ranting about something that I just think like I have an opinion about and I'll just start talking about it for an hour and I'll like look at the clock and be like, wow, so an hour is gone. Okay, well, um, you know, sorry for any of you guys that had to listen to all that. Yeah, because, you know, a lot of people are like, when are you going to play games? God, stop talking. <laughs> No, I know that. Like, I, I've gotten rid of most of them. I think that most of them are probably like they they get that now. They're like, okay, this is it. It's gonna be what it is. Okay, I I understand that now. <laughs> and like, that's about it. The best game that they get me to play is sometimes like so. Uh, it, it, everybody like in the MMO community really really loves for their game to be the best game, right? Because yeah. like you gotta think like some dude spent 10,000 hours on a game it's gonna hurt his feelings a little bit if he finds out it's fucking dead right True. so i'll go and i'll look up google trends and i'll tell them if their game is a good game to play that day or not 
Yeah, like you know, for like their daily validation, it's like, are you a good boy? Are you following trends, or are you a fucking loser that oh. plays this game instead? <laughs> oh God, you know what game? I think I saw you. I saw you. I don't know. I, I you played this game before. Uh, I I played it too, but I I stopped playing. And sometimes it brings me back in. But uh, Black Desert. <laughs> oh yes. <sighs> Yeah, I, I went hard as fuck on that Me game. Me too, fuck. Yeah, like, I was like, you know, like, they have, like, that chart in the game where it's, like, I think it's called, like, growth. It's, like, your highest level. Like, whenever I would log on, I would be on chart. Oh, like, man. I was, like, I was grinding all the time. I remember I would play the game, and, like, if my mom asked me to take out the garbage, I'd be like, man, mom, you just fucked up my whole day. <laughs> Like, I'm like, I was going to play this game all day, but now I have oh. to do this for, like, a minute? Like, I, that now it's ruined. That's what it was, yeah. Like, I hit, uh, I hit 55 whenever that shit was a soft cap, like, at the very beginning. It was it. some degenerate stuff, man. It really was. It was fun. I had, I had a good time playing, but, it, you know, it's, you know, sometimes you just, you just go away. And then whenever a new class comes out, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to play it. But then I stop. <laughs> So I, I've never given a shit about new classes. Like I play a warrior. Like I, I'm I'm the unironic meme of the guy that plays a white male warrior with a long sword in video games. Like um, I that that's what I do. Self insert Andy. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. That's it good, works though. just fine. Wait, what did you play when you played? Uh, I I saw uh that you played Final Fantasy. I didn't. Uh, what was your favorite class in Final Fantasy? A dark knight, because he has a sword. Yeah! Dark knight! Oh, yeah, of course. I was a fucking... I was a fucking potato. <laughs> a oh! I'm sorry! Oh, God, I, I just no. thought, I, listen. It's fine. Listen, I thought it was funny to be a lollipop yeah. and to be, like, a, a, a fighter. I thought it was hilarious. It is funny, to be fair. I, uh... I, I made a, uh, a warlock, like a little gnome warlock <laughs> in WoW, and I called him... Like, cause I, I saw like a video at my school of like some monkey running around. Right. And I'm like, man, if a monkey was on like crack, this would be like fucking funny. Right. And so I'm like, he's going to be jumping around. He can't be like, I thought of like in my mind is like Yoda in the prequels. Whenever he's fighting oh my against God, like yeah. Sidious or some <laughs> shit. Right. And, and so I call him, I, call, I name him crack monkey. And like, he's got this name for like, I'm talking like 10 years. Blizzard finally figures me out and they, they, oh, they make me change his name. No. Yeah, I changed his name to Free Hong Kong. Ah! Fuck him. They want to play those games with me. Uh, yeah, yeah, they want to play those games with me. That's right. Yeah, I was pissed. Oh, it was god. like right whenever that shit happened too. Oh god! Oh god! Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Oh yeah, my it was god. Good times. Oh, well, Jesus. that's how I do. So this is how how I do my stream. Right? Is like I will. I will make content for like a few hours and then I will react to people that get mad about the content from the last stream for a few hours. So like you really only have to do half half a day's work because the other half is just reacting to people that are mad about what happened yesterday. Yeah, I see. Yeah, no, it's great. That's exactly what it is. By the way, I'm completely running the show. So like if you want me to just like uh, you have questions to ask or like you want to talk about something else, go ahead. Oh yeah, I got... I've just been ta just talking. No, it's okay. I I enjoy talking. It's fun. Uh I have questions okay. that people sent in that we could get into in a little bit, you know. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right. I was just making sure. People have a lot of sure. questions. Uh, just like people had a lot of opinions about me having you on here. <laughs> They were not happy about that. No. They were not so happy. so a lot of people realize they don't get this, and I don't know why, but I do not hate VTubers. Like, you know who I was a fan of before anybody else was? Huh. Project Melody. Yeah, baby, let's go. Yep, that's right. Cause like there were all those girls, y'all remember this shit back that went uh, back on chatterbait and they're all getting outperformed by an anime girl oh and they're like God. i can't believe this is happening how could i be losing to an anime girl i said i can't believe this is happening how could you ever think you could win against an anime girl like are you crazy and like yeah i was i was on top of this as soon as possible absolutely dude people were so i remember when she debuted and i was on twitter yeah. and i saw all those angry messages and i'm like 
Jesus Christ, calm down. Well, it, it's like, imagine, like, here's the thing, right? It's like, I get it. Imagine you're a girl and you are, let's just say, putting yourself out there uh, for the audience. And then, oh, along comes Project Melody, an anime girl who could just inflate her boobs as big as she wants. Well, this isn't fair. Like, it's basically like this person's playing on a modded server. It's, I mean, well, it's a little bit unfair. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, I, she does, she doesn't inflate her boobs, uh, uh, but you know, she can get upgrades when she wants from time to time. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean, right? And like, you can change stuff however you want, and, and like, yeah, it's, it's a mod. It's, that's what it is. Hey. Man. I mean, yeah. So I was, I was on top of this real, real early on. I never hated VTubers. You know, I actually was really into anime like back in the day, like way back in the day. Like my like so far back in the day, my favorite anime is uh, Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex. Whoa. Like that's yeah wow. yeah like uh, yeah yeah I loved it, man. Like that and Full Metal Alchemist and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and Berserk, right? Like those like if I had to say like my four, oh my god, those that's would your be my top. Favorite. Those are your top favorites. Yeah yeah, I, I would I say love, so. Absolutely. I love JoJo, I love Berserk. I, I yeah you have good taste exactly yeah yeah and like i joined the, you know i joined the anime club in high school you did yeah what, i joined because i thought the girls the girls in the anime club would look like the ones in the hentai uh oh <laughs> they didn't well you know sometimes hentai i mean hentai changes it's unrealistic body standards it's true but now i don't know if you've noticed but like every i feel yeah. like every so often every couple of years there's like a new beauty standard in hentai like I remember yeah. a couple years ago, it was a specific body type, but now, like, the big thing in hentai is, like, soft-bodied, huge titty ladies <laughs> with lots wow. of softness. Wow, that's horrible. I can't believe that they would just objectify women that How way. How dare just they? just such a terrible thing. I can't believe that. Wow. It's awful. Who, who, could, do, who could do such a thing? Yeah, I mean, damn, I I had no idea about that. Yeah, yeah. They so people people got the wrong impression. Oh, but you know, I I I feel like people have their own opinions. You know, people are just gonna like say whatever the fuck. But I that's I knew just you about didn't right. Hate us. <laughs> no, why would I hate VTubers? Like, I I feel like why why would I dislike this? It it's totally fine. It's just like I, I it's things things are things. You know. <laughs> People get pissed off about stupid shit that's got nothing to do with them all day. Like, that's all they do is they log on to the internet and they r look at the trending page, figure out what makes them the most mad, and then they go and tweet about it. It's like they're addicted to being mad. Yeah, it's, it's people just need to calm down. I think, like, in a way, it's like, I think it's funny to do it every once in a while, right? But, like, imagine doing this. It's like, I do it, and at least I make money off of it. These fuckers do it for free. I feel like around the time when when you gave your opinion about stuff, uh, other people were giving opinions, and it just got kind of like... They sure were. <laughs> it was so fucking funny. I, I just find it funny, but it's like, it just snowballed, and then people were like, oh, well, every they all hate VTubers, all of them. They all hate, and it's like, yep. they never said that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just people, they, uh, it's like they turn things into, like, uh, sports, right? Yeah. And it's like, well, they're not on our team, so these guys are wrong. Yeah. Like, that that's what I think they do. I feel like sometimes, like, Sometimes there's aspects of shit that people just don't get, and it's okay. Like, if people don't like it and they don't get it, it's fine. You know, you could still, like, coexist and, like, talk to people, even if they don't like your thing. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Like, I went and I tried to watch, I think it was Naruto, and <laughs> I I hated it so much. I stopped watching anime for 10 years. Oh, no. I still I, I hated it. it. So <laughs> It made me so mad. I was like, this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, I hate this so much. Dude, I get called and, a and fake it's... weeb, bro, because I've never watched Naruto and I've never watched Bleach. And it's just... That was the other one. Yeah. I've, I've, I, I just never appealed to me. I just never... I didn't want to watch it. it. It's like, yeah, I, I like JoJo. JoJo's great. And yeah. it's like... Yeah, it, it's amazing. I love it. it. It's so cool. And... 
I, I think it's great, but I, I wish that like, I haven't finished the whole thing, but I, I don't know. Like, I really like, I wish they had more of like the hormone energy. Like I, the stands are cool, but like, I wish they would go back to the OG stuff. Oh uh, yeah. You like the, classic. you know, for a season that would be cool. Ah, the classic hormone. I, I like that too. I but also I have a thing for like Joseph. So. <laughs> He's the coolest one. He is the coolest one. He's my and, favorite. And, and, it, and, and it's not even close. Yeah, he's the, he's the best one. Like, it, it's, it's not even remotely close. I, I am just so, I, I'm so, like, uh, I'm so much a fan. I love him. Uh, I he's thought my it was favorite great. Joe Star. He will always be my favorite, Uh, you know. Yeah. Also, he's he's a dilf, and I love that. <laughs> he's a he's a good-looking man, okay? Like, I'm going to be honest. Like, I I was so straight. Like, I, I would not even watch, like, straight porn whenever I was younger because I thought if I did that, it would make me gay. So, like, I'm saying that as this person. Like, he is a good-looking dude. Is like, it because, you know it, I know it, everybody knows it. Is it because in porn, they sometimes they do, like, ball sack shots? Well, I don't really, like, I forgot why. I think it was just, like, it was it was just in general. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, it was just in general. That's fine, but... but... Do you do you watch normal porn now or no? No, I watch hentai. No, I'm just kidding. I, I it depends on what it is, right? I mean, honestly, I you know we I don't even have to leave the website for that sometimes now, right? <laughs> I mean, like it's you know like things are th things are things are getting better, right? I mean, it, it's good. Yeah, I don't have to worry whatsoever. Dude, one time I was I was on Twitch and I saw uh I saw um some interesting stuff. And I'm like, yeah. wow, <laughs> what's happening? Like, yeah, I, I'll uh, I'll watch it, and sometimes I'll watch it just to see how long it takes for them to get like banned for some of this crazy stuff. Oh my god! And, and then like for a while. <laughs> Go ahead. I saw a chick like fuck herself with a hairbrush on Twitch one time, and I'm like, how long is this gonna stay up? <laughs> yeah, and then like the best part about it is like these guys. They act like, oh my god, I've never seen this before. It's like, did you know there's a whole other website? There's like four of them. Yeah. And, and like, did you know about this? Like, this isn't the only website on the internet. You, were you aware of, like, have you ever used Google before? <laughs> and, and like, they'll like, get mad. that Like, cause some guy will say, like, oh, I'm reporting this. And then all the other guys in Quebec, no, bro. No, bro. Oh, no, what are you doing, man? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so funny for me to see that shit. Yeah, I don't know. She got people are asking what's what's her channel name. She got banned like after like five minutes, but it was just like a close up shot of this chick just banging herself with a hairbrush, and I'm like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, I thought it was great. What's I happening? did. I mean, like, well, there was this one girl. I I think this happened. I don't remember exactly, but like she turned on her stream. And she started recording porn for her OnlyFans, what? and she didn't realize it. And Twitch suspended her for a couple of days for it, but she's back. She's chilling. Everything's good. You know, uh, I'm you know I'm friends with Mel, so we we always talk about that because she has like oh, she's like, man, I'm afraid one day I'll accidentally like uh, start my stream and I'm supposed to be doing something somewhere else, but I do it on Twitch instead. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that would like freak the shit out of me. I would be so afraid to fuck up. Because I fuck no, up technology. I, I, yeah, I know. I guess I, I felt like they probably check it five or six times yeah. though, to like make sure that doesn't happen. Well, I don't even do stuff like that, and I check five or six times to see if I'm not streaming because I'm afraid that I'm gonna randomly like go live and I won't know. Like, oh no, I know. I understand that. Like, I remember like back whenever people first started realizing the government was spying on us, they would always put tape over their webcam. But I was talking about this, and it's like, yeah. But like, at a certain point, I I thought to myself, I'm like, man, if Agent Smith wants to watch me jerk off to like to this, like, he's just gonna, he, I'm just gonna let him watch it. Like, fuck, like that's what he gets for trying to spy on me. He's gonna have to watch me. And like, you know, like, I wonder how many people like, you know, they make eye contact with the webcam whenever they're doing it, just in case there's somebody from the NSA on the other side. Oh. Yeah. Do you, do you do, wh wh what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh exactly. Like, no, it, it, that's what it is. It's like the, the, the same thing with all this, uh, 
the, the any of that stuff like the only fan stuff i felt like that would be kind of like I, that would be a fuck up if you accidentally went on twitch for that but i think it's a honestly it's it's one of the better improvements of the past few years yeah it's like dlc for streamers oh my god i'm gonna be honest my brain like reset right now <laughs> that's okay that's good does yeah. that ever happen to you <laughs> Uh, yeah, usually it does. Like, so I'll have like these, I'll have these like state, like the, these things I'll say where I'll be like, uh, like I'll start talking about something and like my, my viewers will probably realize this. I will start a sentence and I actually have no fucking idea what I'm talking about. And I'm just talking until I remember what I was originally going to say. Oh my God. And like, I'll just literally, when I remember, I will just stop saying what I was saying, just completely cut myself off never mention the thought again and just go back to what i was originally saying fuck that happens to me <laughs> yeah oh god is it streamer brain or it's just that somebody hacked my brain right now probably i think honestly it's just the fact that like because you're reading messages all the time and you're talking about stuff this happens to me in real life too and, and like like i have this thing where like whenever people will talk to me and i probably am not listening right and so uh I have like these responses that I, I will, ha I will like kind of, I have them in my back pocket, like damn, or like, you know, it is what it is. Or that's like, my favorite one is that's crazy. <laughs> and then like, it, or, or I'll be like, yep. And then they'll just keep going. And like, I, sometimes it'll be like a game where I can like say as little stuff as possible and it'll just keep them going. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> and like, I'll have literally no fucking idea what they're talking about. But yeah, streaming streaming does do that, absolutely. Because you're reading all the messages all the time, thinking about what you're saying, how you look, you know, looking at stuff. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of things in your brain to, like, juggle while you're streaming, you know? So, I don't know, sometimes my brain just, like, and then, like, resets, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Yeah, I have the same thing happen. Like, I, sometimes I'll even be talking about something and I'll realize that I'm on a tangent of a tangent. And I'll be like, oh. wait a minute, guys. Why are we talking about aliens? Yeah, the house Like, what is this? Time. Like, why did this happen? Like, what, what is this? Like, what was the original point? Like, and, and like, nobody even remembers. It's just like, it's like you're just along for the ride. I agree. That happens to me all the time. And. I uh I I feel bad because I feel like I put my chat through hell because I'll think about yeah. one thing and then like I'll just go down. I I go on like these like, mm, I want to say like content binges where it's like if I do like react stuff, like I'll be like one day I just want to watch fucking Darman videos. <laughs> no, I get that. I do. I I totally understand that. There was uh there were times where I would just sit there and watch. You know what I really, you know what my favorite show is? What's your favorite cops. show? You like I cops? I love cops. Oh I God. think it's it's my favorite show. And like, especially whenever they get arrested and they're happy because they get to be on the show. That's oh my, my favorite part. And then they're high-fiving the officers and they're like, wow, man, like I'm going to be on the show. They're like, yeah, dude. And then they play bad boys, bad boys, what you going to do? And then they're like chilling. Oh, I think it's just great. It's my favorite show. It's it's an interesting show. Uh, I think uh, one time I watched an episode where and I was like kind of like a, I was medicated. <laughs> yeah. I was medicated and I watched an episode and it was like very trippy to me. I don't know. It just felt like, I, 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 I can't explain how I felt watching it. Like fucked up. <laughs> it was like I was no, there, I understand but that. I wasn't there. But I was there. Yeah. Does it make sense? I don't know. I have never, you know, I've never really done drugs. Like I, oh. I've, like oh, I not it's not entirely true, but it's pretty much true, right? Mm. Like, but I just the only time I ever really smoked weed is like I thought that my eyebrows were like five times as big as they were, oh. and all I wanted to do was lay down on my friend's sofa. Yeah, it has that effect on people. Yeah, it was crazy and. That was about it. Like, I just, I would never really get into them. The reason is like, whenever, I, you know what sounds fucked up? Is what? whenever I was a little kid, I always thought I'd grow up and be a drug addict. What? 
Yeah, Why? because it's like, because I've always acted crazy as a kid, and I'm like, drug addicts are like adults are that crazy, so I figured things would just kind of work themselves out. What the fuck? Yeah. That's not true. But okay. No, apparently not, because they're expensive. Like, I'm not going to spend that much money on drugs. Oh my god. <laughs> They are, right, they are pretty like, expensive. Yeah, it's like, I thought, I thought, oh, this will be fun. It's like, wait, Coke is how much? <laughs> no, fuck that, never mind. <laughs> Did you think it was oh, like yeah, five right. bucks? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought it was like a dollar or something, because no. I was like eight years old. <laughs> and so I'm like, well, I'm not going to do this. I, I could buy a Dr. Pepper for that much money, and it yeah. tastes good. Like these shrooms, like, it's like the shrooms. My, my friend told me, he told me that they tasted like a, a month old McDonald's fries. I said, well, fuck that. Ew. Like, I could get. I could get new McDonald's fries for a dollar, and it they taste better. Yeah, I had a friend that she was like, she did shrooms, and I'm like, oh, what? Can yeah. you tell me more about this? And she's like, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I'm like, it's from where? Apparently, they're like from like poop or something. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, to grow underneath. Yeah. I'm just like, why would you want to eat that? And it must taste really bad. I don't want to eat that. But you know. I know. I know. It's like, what's wrong with you? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> But I, I just, I just let it happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like my, my friends got really into that. Like, oh my God, they got into that. And like, I am just so glad, like it, I'm so glad now that like a lot of my friends are, are too fucking old to like go and get into that crazy shit now. And so they're like, oh, I've got to be home at like 10 because you know, if I don't, my wife's going to fucking freak out again. And it's like, thank God, like now I don't have to worry because like we would uh, like I would have to stay out with them like until like five in the morning sometimes like it was crazy. And I'm like the last thing have, like, I don't know if you've ever been to like a club before. I don't know how how long you've had like the like your situation. Yeah. But like, have you ever been to a club before? I've never been to a club. <laughs> Keep it that way. So it's fucking awful. Like, it's absolutely fucking awful. You can be right next to somebody yelling in their ear they can't hear you oh, God. uh it, it, there's it just it's fucking awful and then by the way if you want to actually get a drink it's six dollars uh, it's six it's six fucking dollars yeah right and i i'm like this is just like yeah and then you have to wait in line you have to wait in line and then you finally get let in it's like oh thank god i can't wait to listen to to ludicrous again for the 40th time oh my god what is this? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. It's so funny because the other day I was like, what is Ludacris? Up to? <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. <laughs> like, it's like he was just complete. He was popping off for the longest time. And like, you never hear about him anymore. <laughs> no. Yeah. He's, he's like yeah, a. What happened to Ludacris? I, I think he's like a dad and he has like a cooking show or something. He's like a. Oh god. <laughs> god, is that really the thug life? Yeah. <laughs> Damn! Oh my god! He has like some sort of, I think it's a cooking show or some sort of show uh, that is yeah. online. And uh, I, because I googled him because I was wondering, I was like, whatever happened to him? And then, yeah, he's like a total dad now. I I think that's so funny. It it really is to see all the guys from like NWA and everything, and like now they're just like dads and they just sit around and. You, you know, talk about how dumb kids are these days. I, I, I find it to be kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, everybody's datified. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can see that. It, it's funny for me to see. Well, what music do you like? Mm. Uh, that's, I think we're, we're that even went to. Yeah, what music do you like? I, I'm kind of like you where I like everything except for like yeah. that. Except for like country music and stuff. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I really love, <laughs> I, I like K-pop music. <laughs> I guess I could have never guessed. <laughs> you know, I like K-pop and I like anime music. I like J-pop, but I really like uh, hip hop music and uh, I love uh, anything that like makes me want to like, you know, dance. Even though I can't really dance. No, I get it. Yeah, it's okay. I I, I can get up and everything, but I can't dance either. It's uh, I I definitely understand that. I've tried to dance before and um. Uh, you, you know, like they have like that whole stereotype about it, yeah. and so it, they're they're right. Oh, I see. I I if yeah. I could teach you to dance, I would, but I can't because I can't do it either. So I appreciate it. Yeah, I there's some some of that like anime music and everything is okay, right? I'm a very open-minded person, yeah. so uh, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm all right with that. A lot of it slaps. <laughs> I think so. I think people are just afraid to like it. And like you see some K-pop. I was on the radio and I heard some song from BTS. I was like, wait a minute. Hold up. Well, what is this? Well, did you did, did you like it? Do you like BTS? Mm -hmm. It's all right. Like, it, it's okay. I feel like a lot of it was like, or was it part of it was like kind of like in English, I think? Like, I yeah. don't remember exactly. Yeah, and it was kind of. They do it like that now. Like, half yeah, half yeah, it was a little bit odd. Ah, but it's catchy. It's really catchy. It is catchy. I mean, I still remember it now, right? Yes, true. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like stuff like, I really love gorillas a lot. <laughs> oh, so like the NFTs? Oh God, not those! Ugh. Yeah. Dear God, <laughs> don't get me started with those freaking apes. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. Oh God, the NFT people are gonna come after me. <laughs> don't worry about it. They're already after me. Oh no! Yeah, please, it's, it's okay. It's protect yeah, yourself. I, um... They tried hacking Snuffy. It's horrible. Uh, it's just listen. They, they. I think that they understand where i'm coming from but like i think they it's every this is the thing with like everybody that likes nfts is they always just assume that you don't know enough about it oh, because if you knew what they knew you, you'd be in on it you know like <laughs> and i'm just like at this point i'm like yeah sure bro like that's totally right like wow i can't believe you're gonna you're gonna do this thanks for enlightening me i didn't know <laughs> yeah let me yeah i somebody made i, me I also NFT. like the gorillas <laughs> Say what? Someone made me an NFT. <laughs> oh, my really? Wow. Yeah, I they like uh they took my Twitch link and like a yeah. screen cap of like my uh profile picture and they made it into an NFT and I'm like the fuck. <laughs> Man, that's cr that's crazy. <laughs> wow, I, I I can't believe it. Oh yeah, that, no. I, it's. People have done the same thing with me. I, there was like some guy and he did like this whole streamer project and he made NFTs of a bunch of streamers like without their consent or anything. Oh, and he like started trying to sell them. And like, I think what the world we called them out. It's so fucking funny. Why? Do and and the this? best thing about it, his art was uh, for me was really good. Oh yeah, it was nice. Yeah, yeah, it was. He gave me more hair. <laughs> you have hair! <laughs> Yeah, but it's usually on the side. You have. I'll, I'm gonna. I'm gonna commission an artwork of you as an anime man with a beautiful, long, flowing locks. I I had a lot of those that happened to me involuntarily whenever <laughs> I started playing Final Fantasy. Oh, they like to draw you as, as your Final Fantasy character, huh? Like half and half is like me or my character, kind of something like that. Yeah. yeah. You can use that as like your VTuber, uh, start off as your VTuber model, but you know, I don't know if you want to be a human, or it could be a demon, or a cat man, or a bunny man, because Final Fantasy has bunny men now. Oh, they do. Oh, man. It's just like, I, I can't imagine, like, you know what I think is like, if you play one of the male Vieira in Final Fantasy, <laughs> there's no way you're over six feet tall. Like, I'm <laughs> sorry in real life. There's what? no way... Like, there's no way. Like, you're just not. And, and, like, that's it. Like, uh, because... Uh, just because. What has brought you to like, this and, conclusion? And, like, because I invented it in my head. Oh. But I think that it's true. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I would, I would do a VTuber avatar. Like, actually, no memes, no bullshit, whatever. I would do it for a day. Why not? Ah. Uh... I'm glad you said yeah, that. Yeah, because... I would actually do it. I, I it would not bother me at all. Really? Would you do a stream? Would you deb? Would you do a debut stream? Like, well, yeah, of course. <sighs> yeah, that, that, that's like the thing you do, right? Don't yeah. Don't tempt me, man. Don't tempt me. I. Oh my god. I, I I I got I turned Ludwig into a VTuber. I've turned many a people. Wait, really? Yeah, he got a model because we played. We ended up playing some games, and I won. Uh, I think he let uh -huh. me win because you know he likes to throw for content, but. Uh, he does. Yeah, so he hit the the final, the the punishment was he had to get a VTuber model and have a stream. He hasn't done a stream yet, but I've seen his model and it's really cute. Oh, I would, I would totally do. Is it, is it a cat girl? It's a cat. It's a, it's a maid, a cat boy maid. 
Oh my fucking god. With like the uh the black and white like uh overall like shoulder stuff and everything. He's wearing a pink maid dress. <laughs> yep, that's about right. I could imagine that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. It's uh, somebody it's uh <laughs> somebody sent me one of those. They sent it to me and I don't know if I still have it here anywhere, but they sent me a whole cat boy maid outfit and like what? everything. Oh, oh I, I think I saw it. you dressed up in a cat. Yeah, I have these right here. These oh. are the uh, the ears for it. Oh my god! And so, uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm I'm so kawaii, right? Yeah, You're this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I I I I I'm ashamed to say this, but I put on the entire maid outfit. Uh, I think I saw a picture of, of you wearing it. Yes, that's just about right. How did you and feel? So, uh, um, it was uh, kind of hot in my room, so I didn't mind it that much. It yeah, I, I really didn't. I didn't mind it that much at all. <laughs> oh my god. Is that weird? No, I look, I'll do whatever. It's no. not, not a problem for me. I just I'm I just think, relaxed I and think having you looked, fun. I think you looked really nice wearing it. I think if you were to wear it again it would be adorable. Yeah, the thing is that yeah, just one day like, hey guys, what's up? I sometimes I'll do that. I'll start the stream wearing the cat ears literally make no reference to it for like an hour and just start talking and like pretend like everything's totally fucking normal not reference it not say anything to it it just start the stream and it's like just a normal fucking day that's that's the best way to do it i'm curious would you ever cosplay as a vtuber wait so you can cosplay as a vtuber yeah people um... do it all the time holy shit uh maybe yeah if you... I don't know how that works. I've never cosplayed before. Ah, I've had I've uh so my friend Connor has cosplayed as me, and I've seen really yeah okay. I've seen some girls cosplay as me. Uh, there was a girl on Twi Twitter that cosplayed as Melody, uh, but yeah, it happens a lot. That's crazy. I had no idea. Wow. I'm curious. Okay, I could who see that. Who could get you to cosplay as? Who would you like to cosplay as? I don't know. Like, to be honest, like, I'm the kind of person that's like, if somebody provides me the outfit, I'll just put it on. Somebody like, get I him a cosplay of Nianners. <laughs> yep, that's fine with me. Like, I did. I'm like, I, the only, like, I've seen Nanners stream a couple of times. Oh, well, do you like, and, you like, like your streams? So, it wasn't really her stream. So, I was watching Soda Poppin' in <laughs> VR. Oh, my God. And... So it was like soda popping and he was watching Nanners and I forgot the other the other girl that was there. Uh, I, I don't think it was you. It was some some other girl, but it was oh, like was it they? both. Of, probably. Mm. Yeah. And so they were like getting it on like these two cat girls getting it on at like a bar. And then like one of them leaves and then out of fucking nowhere. Fucking Wakari shows up, and I don't even see him. He's like, "Hi guys, hi, I'm here. Is uh, I in the right place? Hi, 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 it's me." Oh, and he's I like know. yelling, and I'm like, "You're ruining my whole moment. Like, I was getting excited here, and it's just done." Oh my god, I know the stream you're talking about because I ended up showing up uh, because uh, I got VR for the first time. So I've yeah. done VR chat before, but I never used to do it in full VR. I would do it in like desktop mode. So for the yeah. first time, I I got VR, and I was like, I want to surprise Nanners because I wanted to hug her because I I don't really get to hug many people because of my issues. So yeah. I told her I made her a promise that if I ever got VR, the first person I would hug is her. So I went on the show and I surprised her to hug her. And then Vey got in between us, so technically I gave Vey my first. <laughs> so it was like a threesome. It was like a threesome, yeah. We had a threesome. Oh hug. my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's that's. Uh, you know what? I actually I might start doing the V uh, the VR thing. Uh, if, I think it'd be fun. If you do, we should do a VR stream together, and I'll take you around uh, cool places. Okay, that's good. I heard that there's like a lot of uh, stuff there. What kind of stuff? You know what I mean. Wait, what kind of stuff are you talking about? <laughs> well, I mean, you know. Oh, like uh, like uh, stuff that you can't show on stream. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. That's what I was kind of worried about. Oh yeah. Uh, well, it you can you can circumvent that. You don't have to like find all of, like the bad stuff. There's a lot of wholesome uh -huh. stuff. And uh, what? Yeah, there's a lot of wholesome. Like somebody made a replica of Disney World. And you I don't want to go there in real life. Why the hell would I want to go? What, uh, do, do, is it, if it's realistic, do you have to wait in line for three hours? You don't have to wait in line because there's nobody there. <laughs> I bet not. <laughs> Fuck that. I wish I could go to Disney for real, but that would just have to do for me for now. But they have There's a number of oh! places. Oh, they have ahead. clubs. You can go to a club there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They have clubs in Final Fantasy, too. I've seen these. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're... and so it's probably the same type of thing, right? Where it's like they're listening to, like, EDM, and it's, like, a bunch of, like, cat girls in bikinis dancing around. Uh, I've seen... Well, there was a particular club that I went to where it was kind of like that, and there were a lot of naked people there. Oh, Okay. All right. Yeah. So probably won't go there on stream, but yeah. yeah, we'll go somewhere else. It sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could go to a, a VR chat club, and uh, we'll go to a safe one so that there's no naked girls and people whipping out their wieners and stuff. So do they do that? Like, is it like can they just like flip it out there? Yeah. And okay. So Holy shit. There's like, the technology is pretty interesting because like now they have like reactive genitals. I saw that. You know what's so crazy is that we think about this, but we know that it's just the beginning. This is like right now we are in the Super Nintendo for with Super Nintendo era of it's VR true. degeneracy. Imagine what happens whenever we get to PlayStation 3. Uh, it's going to be incredible. They already have like a you can get like a haptic uh, vest, a haptic suit so you can feel people like hugging you. And you can mm. feel stuff, you know? Oh my god, I didn't even know that at all. Wow, yeah. that's actually, that's... That would be... So wait, oh, oh my god. I actually just thought of something. Wow, that's... <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> you do know about, like, teledildonics, right? I didn't, but just by the name, I know exactly <laughs> what they are. <laughs> They got yep. that and, now, and, and, and am I generally right? Yes. <laughs> yep. Okay. That's just about right. You can have Holy somebody shit. from all around the world control your stuff. That is just crazy. Like, I, I, wow. Like, the name is just like, and what's so good about that name is like, that's a name that you can order something like that. And mom might not figure out what it is. Not because it's like, it's like, Oh, mom, this is no, like, you know, like I'm in AP science. Like it's for, it's for Miss Williams chemistry class. It's for, uh, I need this for, for a project. It's the science fair. Yeah. It's a science experiment. It's important. Well, it certainly is an experiment. That part's true. <laughs> it is. It's, it's, it's interesting, the technology. And now it's like, you could, you can even like connect it to like VR chat. There's like apps and stuff and. You can do weird stuff in there, because I've heard about it. And uh, I, I that, and this is only the beginning. That's it what is. I think is just so crazy. Is like whenever I see something new like that, it's like wow, this is you know, it, it ain't it nice to be to be here right at this time? Oh yeah. my god! I went to I went to one like I went to like a a club, uh thing, and I had a friend like yeah. show me around, and it was like watching a. It was like I went to a like a tech convention for like degenerates. <laughs> okay. Cause they were like showing me like they were like look look at this and look at that and I felt like I was at a convention like getting like uh sales pitches at me thrown like with like. <laughs> it's like different types of like uh um uh mechanisms. Yeah, they were like uh, showing me how it worked and. And I was just like, whoa, what the heck? This is crazy. I didn't understand that this was a thing that could happen. That is just, yeah, that's just, it, honestly, I, I find that stuff to just be hilarious. And like, I mean, the thing is, I've been on the internet. I'm 31 years old. 
So I've been on the internet ever since like 2000 or 1999, 2001, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. So I've seen all this crazy stuff happen. And it's the same stuff that happens in like MMOs and stuff like that. Like guys will pay girls to like uh, ERP with them and stuff like that. Whoa. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's like online prostitution. What? That's a thing yep. that actually happens? I it, thought people it is, do it like, for free. So um, basically, so here, here's kind of like what happened was like I, uh, I went on to a server that was known for this type of behavior. And uh, I because I, I, like you download this add on and it shows people like a bunch of like information about their their role play. Right. It's like, you know, how like different classes in like video games. It's like, you know, they have like a buff to like agility or like strength and stuff like this. Yeah. These have like buffs like supple thighs and ample breasts mm. right and, and then also hard cock uh, you know all on the same character of course uh, and so um th this they would have like a listing on there like how much gold it would be for each different type of role play so and, and i'm looking and it's like obviously like the vanilla stuff is cheaper the you know 50 shades of gray stuff is more expensive and i think to myself holy shit i need to message this person so I, I brought them on Discord, and I think this is probably the biggest twist at all, is it was actually a girl. Really? Can you believe that? It That's was a real girl, surprising. yeah. That's the way I thought. So um, I, I brought this girl on, and she told me that she had a guy um, pay her, it was like over 100,000 gold, which is a lot, and he wanted to do a, a Vore role play. What the fuck? And what, yeah, so like, yeah, and so the the role play ended where she was a she was a pregnant night elf and she ate him and then he fist bumped her unborn baby <laughs> what the fuck and she got a mount out of it what yeah it was a good mount like th those those were expensive <laughs> yeah Yep, that's Ooh. right. It's just totally, totally normal behavior. I mean, Holy this is, it's, shit. It's, yeah, yeah, I, I, yep, that's right. And I thought I've seen crazy I, shit. I was just like, that's what I said. I was like, that's crazy. Wow. I, <laughs> I didn't really know what to say. I, have you ever, I didn't ask for any more examples. Have you ever heard of Second Life? <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I used to go on there and uh, I've seen some things on there like and i know people would like erp on there yeah. and like i know they would like you know erp for like uh stuff on there uh but i've i've i i don't think i've ever seen like a vor thing but like i've seen like i think there was like this one place where it's like there was this lady there was a girl and she was doing this uh erp where like she had like her upper body was in like a cage and she was running around naked in the game and it was basically like, uh, you get in there, it's a free-for-all, and you can chase her and, uh, do stuff with her. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? That's, that's spicy. I like that. That's, that's good. That's spicy. creative. <laughs> yeah, that's really creative. I, I th you know, it's, it's interesting to see, like, because you can only do so much in the real world. A and then, like, now, it's like people have become, it's like at this point now, it's like growing up. It's like by the time that you're like 21 years old, there are people that are no longer they they can only uh like they can only have sexual arousal by animals that don't exist. Oh, that's where we're at. <laughs> well, are are you talking about people that want to fuck Pokemon? Well, I mean, like not just Pokemon, but yeah, sure. Have you done Pokemon Smasher Pass? I think that, uh, no, not really, like, but I've thought about it. I've done it. I, I would only, like, I, I only have, like, I only passed, like, seven Pokemon. But my friend yeah. Snuffy, she passed, like, almost all of them. Really? That doesn't make any sense. I thought she was a <laughs> raccoon. I thought they ate everything. <laughs> yeah, but she she's, she's the type of raccoon where she just can't get enough, you know? She wants it all. It seems that way, yeah. <laughs> 
Like, I, I didn't even know that was a thing. You should try it. You'd, you'd be surprised at your answers if you really sat down and thought about, you know, would you fuck a Lugia? A Lugia? <laughs> Lugia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, that that that's that's a pretty easy one. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's like, so I remember... This is this is what happened, and like obviously you can indulge, uh, like it's like a mental experiment, right? And yeah. it's not like you're really gonna do it, cause like I had this thing happen where like in, so in Final Fantasy there's this situation where uh, this girl fell in love with a dragon, and oh. I said that I, I well then and that's so why I said like it makes sense that she fell in love with that dragon because he's the most attractive one. And everybody freaked out. Like they, they acted like I was some kind of a of a of a crazy person, but I wasn't wrong. Like I, I wasn't wrong at all. Like he was the most attractive one. Like, and I'm not saying it's it's a theoretical. I don't mean this for real. Like, but I'm just saying, like, if you had to, that would probably be number one. I mean, you should see him. I mean, like, trust me, I, you, you would dragon? you would completely agree with me if you, if you saw a picture. Well, uh, I think, yeah, yeah I, he it was should, obvious. I, maybe I wonder what Snuffy would think about this. <laughs> I don't know. She loves dragons. I have a friend. Uh, he makes fur suits now, Whoa. and uh, we went to high school together. And on the first day of uh, uh, history class, we had together. He drew a picture of a, a, a female dragon masturbating uh, with her legs spread open How would that even uh, work? on the chalkboard, <laughs> on the chalkboard. On the chalkboard? And I remember our, our, yeah, our teacher came in and she was like some prim and proper lady who always used proper English. She walked in there. She saw that. She turned around. She was like, uh-uh, nope, I'm done. That's it. She didn't come back for like 20 minutes until the class started. Oh, God. She said, nope. Yeah, I know. Like, we had a whole lot of fun. <laughs> we had a whole lot of fun. Oh, dear God. <laughs> yeah, it's just the normal stuff. It's just a normal everyday life. Yeah, it's okay. You know, sometimes you got to draw, like, dirty drawings on a chalkboard. It's fine. Yeah, sh yeah she quit next year. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was, I guess, you a, that was a You traumatized her with a masturbating dragon. I, I don't think it was just that. It could be worse. Like, it you got to remember, like... that was the first day. Oh, I see. Did you... Yeah. Well, it could have been worse. It could have been a dragon, bad dragon. Thing. So, like, we talk about this kind of stuff, and then I go, like, downtown or something, and I see people with these signs telling me that, like, God wants you to repent. And oh. I can really see why they have those signs up nowadays. Oh, yeah. People. I, yeah, I, I can really, I, I really think that I, I, I can see where they're coming from. <laughs> I don't really like see too, you know, because I don't really go out, so I don't know how yeah. bad it is out there anymore. Is it pretty bad? Uh, well, there was this one time we went to this guy, and he was uh like a activist for like circum circumcision. What? And uh, yeah, and, and so he had like basically, like it, it, you know how like people would they'll ha he had like I think he gave us a business card or something, and like the top of the business card was like scissors. And it was just like, I couldn't believe this. And like, I love talking to people like that, especially like on stream. Like if I could ever get a crazy person on my stream, that's like, a, like for me, it's like being able to find a YouTube video that's really entertaining for a whole hour, right? Oh. It's like, I can use this person for content for like a whole hour, it'd be great. Whoa, what kind of, what would a conversation with that person even be like? What the fuck? Oh, I mean, he's just talking about how it's like, uh, it, it, I don't even remember. It's like three years ago, like, and we were like downtown. I don't remember what it was. Wow. I, I had another guy. He, uh, he was trying to get, he was, he was going around Taco Cabana, which is like, imagine it's Taco Bell, but it tastes a little bit better. Right. Oh. And, uh, it's supposed to be authentic, but let's be honest. It's fucking not. So, uh, he's going and, and he's he asked us for our receipts so he could use our receipts to get free tacos yeah. and then obviously we gave him our receipts which clearly meant to him I'm going to sit down and talk to them about how the earth is flat uh. so um, he had like a whole YouTube channel and like the YouTube channel was called 100% uh, flat 
and it had two emojis of a globe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. And, and I said, I, I like the thing is that like, whenever you go and and, and you at you deal with an individual like this, you deal with a person like this. What what I do is I usually ask questions because I don't ever think like, well, what about science? Because like that's not on their radar, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well, what about if the water? Well, how how we know it's it's flat? Because like, wouldn't a frisbee fall down? Why doesn't it fall down like a frisbee does? <laughs> And like, you know, because the thing is that you can't like what happens if it rotates upside down, all the water falls out into space and, and then we fall out into space. We're going to go to the, the gonna, how did this happen? And I, I just and, and you have to ask the questions like in a way that like they know that you, they don't think you're fucking with them and they think you're being honest yeah. and they will try their best to answer them. And that is just really special. Oh, man, that sounds so much. That sounds fun. Fuck. Oh yeah, yeah. In in Austin, uh, a lot of that kind of stuff happens because uh, a while ago they decided that they're not going to do anything about any of the homeless people here, oh, and they're see. not going to like help them find shelters anywhere. Yeah. So basically, the homeless people have made their own apartment complexes. Ooh. So uh, there'll be like fifty of them that live underneath a bridge, and nobody really seems to give a fuck. They don't do anything. Like they about just. It? Nope, nobody does anything about it at all. And they've got like cookouts there. They're yeah. chilling. And it's like, I remember I went there and I, I showed my my friend a picture of it. And like one of the first things that like somebody they knew saw was like, damn, they're not even wearing masks. I'm like, is that really what you're thinking of? Is that it? Is that really? Is, this is the first thing that comes to mind. That they're not wearing masks. Oh, God. It was fucking funny. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Christ. I thought that was good. Wait, well, yeah, where's the mask? There's no social distancing oh, at all here. <laughs> yeah. Cancel them all. They're not wearing masks. <laughs> I, I know. It's like um I and, and yeah, there's there's plenty of that stuff. So like here in Austin, that's totally normal. Like part like near kind of like where I live, um, there's like this sidewalk. And the homeless people have taken over like three of like the concrete blocks of the sidewalk. Mm. And everybody, including the police, has just kind of agreed to this. It's like they basically live there now. Like they live there on that sidewalk. And this is an ancestral home at this point. It's been like that for 20 years. And that's how it's going to stay. I see. Yeah. I'm not like, I, I'm not, you know, I don't really go out. So I don't know how it is everywhere else. But I know like... So I'm Puerto Rican. I'm I'm from Puerto Rico, and I know okay. we we have like you know because of like a lot of issues that's been happening with like weather and stuff like that. Like, there's yeah. areas that are just very 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 poor, and uh, it's like it's it just sucks because it's like they receive like no help, and no one does anything to help, and it's just that's rough. Well, you can't say nobody does anything to help. I bet if you talked about this a lot on Twitter, people would change their profile pictures. You think and so? they would maybe even put a flag of Puerto Rico in their name. You think so? I think that they'd be I think they would be willing to go that far, yeah. Whoa. To help people change. They might their even give their thoughts and prayers. Oh thoughts and prayers are so important. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, I see that all the time. I mean, yeah, they'll they'll definitely they'll just take care of it. Yeah, I get a lot of thoughts and prayers sometimes too. I used to get a lot of them, but then I was like, I'll just be anime and not share opinions, and then I won't get any more thoughts and prayers. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. I think being anime is probably a good idea. It's like, so do people like? Let me ask you, like, so you do the video? Do people like perceive you as an anime girl? Or as like an actual girl, like feel, what is it? Where's like fifty fifty? I feel like it's mixed because I feel like there are people yeah. that see that know they understand that I am a person and that I am a human, but there are some people that I've received messages from where it's like they do not believe that I am a real person. <laughs> so like they just straight up like they're like that avatar. That's who she is. Yes, those horns are real. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Uh huh pink hair yep yeah so like a, you know 
a friend of mine did like a face reveal uh, because she was comfortable to share her face and some people got mad at her and sent her very angry messages for for doing that because you know she's supposed to be a fucking green haired uh, uh a lich she's supposed to be a lich she's not she's not a person she's an undead anime girl and it's just like what the yeah. fuck no, I think that they, yeah, they get upset about that because it's like it, it ruins the illusion, right? You yeah. can never, uh, you can never break the fantasy. It's kind of like, you know what, you know, what's really bad is like people that it's like the best internet villains are the ones and internet characters are the ones who literally never break character. True. They never break character. Like, and True. that's the secret. It's like, if you want to stay relevant forever, never break character. Ah, uh, yes. The character. Exactly, I, yeah. I don't know. Like, for me, I enjoy it, you know? I, I don't see myself doing a face reveal or anything because I just don't, you mm -hmm. know, I told you I, I have a lot of, like, issues and stuff. But, yeah. uh, I, you know, I, I like playing a character. It's fun. I don't mind, like, being myself and, like, uh, I, I feel like I'm, like, a mix of both my character and myself, which is, like... Some VTubers operate as, like, solely characters only all the time. And then some people, they're like, Oh, no, I just wear this because I don't want to... I don't want to be on camera. And they're themselves. I think it just depends on the VTuber. It depends on who you watch. Uh, we're all pretty different. Uh, but for the most part, it's pretty mixed where people see me as, like... Oh, she's a demon. She's an anime person. And then there's people that see me as a person. But... It's it's interesting to see different people's reactions and how like they uh, interpret the things that you say and how they react to how you uh, act on stream and off stream. It's it's interesting. Oh yeah, I mean especially the thing is like people will all the time because like whenever I'm not on my stream, I'm basically like you know what you're talking about like an undead witch. Yeah. So like a that's basically me like off stream. I'm like an undead <laughs> zombie. Uh, my eyes are halfway closed. My arms are out like this on the keyboard. And I'm not even thinking about anything. I am just d just completely fucking zoned out thinking about some bullshit. And people are always like, man, I thought he said he didn't do drugs. <laughs> hmm? What's this? He's not doing drugs. He's just tired. <laughs> yeah, I'm just shit. I'm not even tired. Like, I'm just sh I'm conserving energy. For whenever I'm gonna have to go downstairs and g get a cookie, we're gonna have to eat an entire cookie. Mm, I wish I got a whole cookie right now. <laughs> I uh, I had to cut it down. I was eating ten cookies a day, and I've cut it down now to three. Oh, what kind of cookies do you like? Just chocolate chip cookies. I I'm very much like I, I, I am the most boring eater that you could imagine. Are like, you really? I eat yeah, I eat chocolate chip cookies. I uh like steak like anytime that like we go out somewhere like like I, I don't know like these restaurants that have like anytime that we go somewhere and it says authentic fill in the blank food i think to myself oh fuck like because then they're gonna have like all these weird dishes and it's like all i want is your americanized bastardized version of your food that all of the flavor is taken out of it and i can just eat this and it'll be no problem Ah, so yes. it's like I go to yeah I go to like an Italian restaurant and I'm like what the fuck like I'm listening to all these names of this stuff it's like what is this fettuccine what the fuck is a fettuccine <laughs> like and I like I'm just freaking out I just told them I'm like listen man give me a pepperoni pizza I don't care what it takes make it happen and that's all it was I I went there at the time with my ex girlfriend, and she was. I think I thought she was embarrassed because she's like, "Man, we can't. We just we can't take this boy out the hood. Like, what is this? He can't even order normal food. <laughs> He's trying to order a pepperoni pizza. It's fifty dollars." Oh God, I I love pizza. It's my favorite food. Yeah, even though I can't eat it. <laughs> oh, I I do too. I eat pizza a lot. Like my teeth were fucked up. I couldn't eat nothing hardly. Like, I even had to stop eating candy. It was awful. Oh. And, uh, th yeah, then I got them fixed, and I would eat, like, uh, so there are these bags, these Reese's Peanut Butter Cup bags, and they have them, like, a normal Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Like, have you ever had one? Bro, I love Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. 
So like, you know how they, so, but, but do you really though? Because like, think about it, right? How many times do you get a Reese's peanut butter cup? You open that shit up and you try to peel off the bottom brown wrapper and it pulls off yeah. a little piece of the chocolate. And it's like, a, you know what it reminds me of? An asshole. <laughs> And I, it really, it does. And so I hate that. And then you bite down on it. And it's like the middle part is really good because that's where the peanut butter is. And then you have the sides, which is like this hard chocolate. It's like I, I bought a Reese's peanut butter cup, not a Reese's chocolate bar. So the holiday edition of these are just way better because they have a much better ratio of chocolate to peanut butter. Yeah. And so like I'll go and I'll buy 20 bags. Look, I'm not kidding. I'll buy 20 bags because I like it. Well, this is the Easter, right? And Easter is the dry spell because they don't make them again until Halloween. So yeah. I've got to survive until Halloween. And then also I buy like uh, like the caramel eggs. I'll buy. Oh, my God. I love those too. <laughs> I'll buy like 50 of them. Right. Because like, I'll, I'll think in my head. I'm like, OK, if I, I plan it, like I'll eat one caramel egg a day every single day uh, for like pretty much like I assume like half of the days of the year. Oh my god. <laughs> and so yeah, yeah. And so I uh like I as soon as I had enough teeth again, I started eating those like crazy. Oh god, and I, <laughs> Yeah, people tell me I'm gonna get diabetes. I went to the doctor, they said I'm completely fucking fine. They said it's I, I said everything is totally normal. I said good, I'm gonna eat more chocolate. That's good. Enjoy your fucking chocolate. Yeah. I dream of the I'm day a, when I could do that yeah, shit. I'm, I know. I'm going to enjoy that as much as I can. It's just the teeth are fucked up. Oh, That's nice. the only thing. Oh, but your teeth are great now. Yeah, well, I got the side fixed because, like, you know, I always usually look this way because this is where my main monitor is. Mm. This side of my teeth, yeah, I got teeth missing already on this side, but nobody sees that side of my face, so who gives a fuck? <laughs> yeah, who gives it's a fuck? It's not a big deal. Oh. Yeah, it, it's not a big deal. That's kind of like, I, I've been slowly kind of, like, fixing myself, too, like... Uh, yeah, it's taking some time, but I hope like in a few years I'll be uh, a little bit more stronger, so that I can at least like saunter around my house and shit and do like full VR, like full body VR. You're like Just... building up power levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still very low level right now, but I'm hoping yeah. in the future I could, you know, have a stream where it's like, bitch, I'm eating a fucking pizza and then I'm gonna do yep. full body VR because I could do it, you know. Yeah, that's awesome. Like, I, I do. I, th I think that is so cool. And I'm glad to see, like, it's actually so crazy. Like, I, I said this uh, to you before. It's like, how, like, what are the odds, right? That, like, you you have this, this, this situation that you're in, right? And it just happens to be at this exact moment where you have this, like, just crazy opportunity that just came really you think about this like was this even in people's minds five years ago no. 10 years ago absolutely not it's just like it came out of nowhere isn't that just incredible it's it's insane like, I, it's amazing i was talking to my sister about it because like uh, yeah so when i was when i was growing up i wanted to become an opera singer so i went to school mm -hmm. for opera and I was really into it. I really wanted to do it really bad. And, and I know it's like opera. What the fuck? <laughs> but uh, I, I really wanted to do it. But, uh, you know, my health got really bad. So I had to drop out of school. Yeah. And I, in my, in, like growing up, I always wanted to be like, yeah, I wanted to do something with like singing and maybe even do something with like anime, like be a voice actress and stuff. Yeah. And uh, it, it's funny that now I'm doing what I wanted to do originally. I'm just doing it in a different way that I never expected because like I'm an anime girl and I sing on my stream and I act stupid which is fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just it's so it's so crazy that like something like this could just happen. Like yeah. I don't know, I, I I think about it and it's like how is it it's like you have a puzzle piece. It's like you have a completely finished puzzle and it's like you reach into a bag of randomized puzzle pieces and you just happen to pull out the exact right piece. Yeah, it's insane. Like, I, I sometimes it's like, I feel like I'm gonna wake up and it's gonna be like, oh, it was a dream, just kidding. You ain't, yeah, you, you ain't shit, you know? <laughs> yeah, but it's uh, it's 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 real and I can't believe it. And it, it, it's incredible. I think it's great that, like, even like we can we can sit here and do what we want to do and 
you can give your opinions and be a react dandy and play a game and and have a good time and just live your fucking life you know i always whenever i was a kid um I, I I heard that like you had to have like a job whenever you got older and I was like wait what like this sucks yeah. like what why like why would I have to oh, fuck this like I like people like what do you want to be whenever you grow up I said what do you mean what do I want to be like what do you what do you what do you mean like you think I want a job like this no of course not I said I just want to sit home all day and play video games and eat fast food and uh what hey you? you know <laughs> hey you know like i wanted to be a need ever since then and like they're like well you're not going to be able to do that i'm like yeah i will i'll get the government to pay for it or something you're doing great now look at you i i feel yep. same too because like i you know people would ask me i i just didn't think anything was gonna happen for me because it's like yeah. you know you start getting sick and then like you know doctors tell you oh this is what's gonna happen to you so you should, you should just you know relax and be comfortable and it's just like well, I, uh, there goes my life. Fuck, I'm not gonna do anything. And, like, you know, I ended up, like, not, uh, having, like, hopes and dreams and just being, like, I guess nothing good is gonna happen. And then all of a sudden, it was, like, this started happening. And I'm, like, well, fuck, what the fuck? Yeah, it's just, it's <laughs> crazy. I, I'm sure, like, for... For so many people, it's just like, it's just completely life changing. And like, for me, in a way, it was too. But I mean, to be honest, like, my life really hasn't changed uh, at all since I became popular as a streamer. Like, well, act, it's not true. Like, I'll, I will get a large drink instead of like a medium, but like, that's pretty <laughs> much about it. You need to yeah, hydrate. You need it. to stay hydrated because, you know. Oh, I do. I'm staying hydrated right now. It's oh, just fun. Is that, is that a Pipsy? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Dude, I haven't had a Pepsi yeah, in so fucking long. I don't even remember what fucking Pepsi tastes like. I I think that like I'll be honest, I like Pepsi more than Coke. I I do. I th I think really? it's better. Oh my god. Yeah, I like to mix and match and go back and forth though. Oh, I I just don't know. I don't know what either of them taste like anymore. So I don't even know which one's good. No, I I know what you mean. Yeah, it's like you don't drink something for a long time. Like I have that happen, and it's like. I had that happen with onion rings. It's like every five years, I tell myself that I'm going to like onion rings. Because, like, you know how, uh, like, maybe not, but, like, I don't know if you ever went to Burger King or some shit. But, like, you know, like, whenever in Burger King, you they they drop, like, an onion ring at the, the top fries? of the fries? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's like they do that. And, like, you know, like, if that happens, you know whoever is running point at Burger King that day is a straight-up fucking G. And so they drop that shit in there and I'm like, man, I might as well try this out. Right. And so I'll bite into it and I'll be like, man, do I like onion rings? And it's like, no, I don't. I just don't know what it is about. it. I cannot like onion rings. I'm convinced they do that shit on purpose to like try to get people. It's like a, a, a subliminal thing. It's like, look, I'm going to slip this onion ring. Like in, a hopefully. gateway drug. Yeah. It's like they want to boost their onion ring sales. They do it on purpose. I swear. Because yeah. it happens That's way smart. too often that's smart yeah i mean i i think that like a lot of times places have this like taco bell started trying to do that with their nacho fries mm. like let me tell the, the like <laughs> why the fuck are you trying to do fries for like I, I don't know what the hell they're thinking like that cheese tastes like plastic like you think i want to use that as ketchup like are you crazy i've never like i i don't understand uh well i never had them but it's like i just don't yeah, I don't understand the point. Just like uh, people, you're not missing out. They started making. I, everyone tells me it tastes good though. The Doritos taco thingy, where it's like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I mean, absolutely, a hundred percent does. Uh, yeah, that like stuff the is good. Twists. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like every once in a while, like you would get those coupons, and it'd be like you get a free one. Yeah, that's what that was my favorite Taco Bell thing, the Cinna Twist. Yeah. Do you remember the ch the Choco Taco? Oh yeah, the the ice cream taco that was like full yeah. chocolate on it. Exactly. So like my dad, like it, we were going to Taco Bell, and like my dad was like, "Do you want like?" I asked my dad, I'm like, "What do you want?" He's like, "I want a Choco Taco." And I'm like, "Dad, they stopped selling those." He's like, "Wait, what? When?" I'm like, "I don't know. Like ten years ago, like eight years ago." Long and he's like, "No, just ask, just ask." 
And like, I swear, like we asked the person, do they have any Choco Tacos? And they didn't even know what the fuck that was. Oh, like they didn't even know what a Choco Taco was. Oh, that hurts. I, I know. It was just like, I'm like, man, like I bet they don't remember. Remember the Taco Bell dog? Yeah, I remember the Taco Bell dog. Yeah, it's like that dog's probably older than they are. It's like, I, like, what do you mean? Like, and then Taco Bell, like, what I really hate is like Taco Bell will every once in a while make a tweet uh, about some stupid shit. And it's like, what are you tweeting about this for? Like, bring back my items on the menu. Like, what about the things that I like that now they cost more money? Like, what is this? I hate that shit. It uh. makes me so frustrated. Oh, man, I, man, I, uh, I, I can't wait. The day, the day that I can go and eat some Taco Bell or have... Eat a, Taco Bell, yeah. Yeah, I just want to, like, I just want to have fast food again. Because it's just... It's just a taste that I haven't eaten in a, in a long time that, I, like, I forgot about. You know? I pretty much eat fast food once a day. It Really? Like, once yeah. every day? Yeah, yeah, like, uh, I can't show it on my camera, but, like, there's, like, a million drinks over here. Do you like, eat, let me like, see, actually, let me, I can do this. Do you eat one time a day, or do you eat other meals? There we go. There's a bunch of them right Whoa. over there on the side. Yeah. Whoa. This is what I do. This, um, I, I'll usually eat, like, one or two meals a day. Yeah, I, I see that. If I, I think eat, that's, like, I that's normal. Yeah, I feel yeah. like a lot of people live like that now. Fuck people breakfast. like people like you eat, who the fuck eats breakfast number one like my breakfast is a cookie like i'll have a cookie and like maybe two or three reese's peanut butter cups for breakfast and then i'll get a soda uh lunch i will usually have like maybe a taco um or something like that and then for dinner i'll have barbecue and like that's a perfect perfect day barbecue mm. yep yep that's right Oh, I love barbecue. God damn it. You're making me you're making me crave food now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's yeah. Okay. It's like I could get I could get into this and talk about this forever. It's okay. Uh, it's nuts. I like it. I it's it's I was talking to a friend uh like a few days ago and they're like, Oh, is it yeah. okay if I eat? And I'm like, Go ahead. I used to love to watch like man so because I don't I, I, I didn't eat and stuff and now I'm like on like a very restricted diet uh, yeah, I, I used to enjoy watching mukbang videos and watching people eat. <laughs> I have never seen any of those except for there's this one really fat guy, and like everybody watches his videos because it's like watching a train wreck in slow motion. Who? It's actually the most fucking uh... crazy shit ever. Yeah, and it's like this guy he just yeah, it's like everybody knows who it is. Like, oh my god, I worry about that guy. It's just so insane. Like, everybody's just watching. Like, everybody's just waiting to see, like, what's going to happen. Like, is it, is it going to, is he going to break? Like, is it going to, like, is he going to turn it around? Like, it's just, it's one of the most compelling things on the internet. It's, it's, it's something, I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I worry about him, but then I think about, uh, is, I wasn't aware that there's, like, a community of people that enjoy stuff like that. Like, uh, like feeding and stuff. It was. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even know that that was a thing. So I was like, "Is that like, is that like his thing?" Or no, I don't think so. I, I don't think it's a sexual thing. I mean, I'm sure like some people feel that way, right? And, and that they use that as, as, yeah, sure. But like, I think most people, it's the same as how people would like watch Chris Chan or something like that. It's like you're just waiting to see what's going to happen next because it could be anything. I think people are just like intrigued by personalities on the internet. They just Oh, they are. Yeah. I I I remember I I remember back like a couple years ago I used to watch some uh YouTubers like and it was just like intriguing personalities that you just you just were like curious about what why what motivated them to do and to get to where they were at that point and to do what they're doing and then it's like you can't stop watching i yeah it's like i've always wanted to do that i always wanted to do a podcast where i would bring in people that are just like absolutely hated by the internet or like like basically noteworthy crazy oh, internet people a controversial podcast. and i bring them on and I, mm. say what 
controversial podcast. Yeah, exactly. And I bring them on and I just get them to talk about like, you know, like, so what was the inspiration for Sonichu? You know, like bring on, it's, you can't now, right? But like somebody, I think his name is Terry Davis, right? I mean, imagine what he would have to say. Oh, that'd be great. Somebody said Joe Rogan. <laughs> Joe Rogan, yeah, oh, I mean, God. ask him. Yeah, exactly. Like, ex that's that's all. I only there is. know him and because I of UFC. I don't know anything else about him. So apparently, there was like something where he, uh, he had like some guy on his show, and like people got mad about it, and oh. it was like a really big thing for like a week, and then everybody stopped caring. Oh. So pretty much like everything else. Yeah, just like everything else on the internet, where it's yeah. like crazy for a week, and then that's it. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's kind of what happened. Everybody's talking about it, and then it's just over. <laughs> the internet moves on very, very quickly. <laughs> no, it, it does. Like, that's one thing people don't really understand is, like, people that get involved in drama. Like, one thing I always tell people is, like, the best apology is good content. Like, just if, if you are involved in drama, just keep making content, and no, you will never get canceled. Just never stop and that's totally fine right. it's the people that stop that lose i used to be obsessed with watching <laughs> i used to be obsessed with watching uh the saga of ice poseidon i don't know if uh, oh yeah it was like it was, oh, I, I know him I, I know him personally his his streams his irl streams especially when he did like the the the, the road trip I couldn't stop watching. I couldn't look away. It was like... Yeah, I actually have a... One of my business partners was the cameraman for that. Ah. If you can believe that. Yeah. Yeah. I think I know who we're talking about. That's right. <laughs> I, uh... You know, I, I think I still lives in Austin. And, like, I live in Austin. And so we, I was at this taco place. And I looked over. And I'm like, oh, my God. Is that Ice Poseidon? And like, I hadn't seen him for like years at this time, right? Oh. And then I, I, I'm like, man, is this Ice? And I'm like looking over at him. Like I didn't make eye contact with him. Straight up, Ice pulls down his mask and I see his fucking nose. And I'm like, Ayo Ice! Like, and immediately he turned around and that was fucking him. I didn't know that was him until oh I saw his nose. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just saw each other there, man. Yeah. I was I was thinking about him the other day because I was like I, I I got recommended like an old like like uh video about yeah. him and I'm like, where 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 has he been? <laughs> oh oh did did you see, did you see the NFT thing? Oh god. Or the crypto thing? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, he he oh, he took the money and ran. Oh, God. Like, he, yeah, that's right. He did it. He got oh, away. As oh, far God. as I know, we got away. Oh, God, no. I I mean, listen, it's just, it's not a surprise. I, I feel like anybody, listen, if you invested money into CX coin and I stole your money, what did you expect? What did yeah. you really think you were going to the moon? <laughs> like, come on. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's right. Oh god. It's just like I mean, you got you got to be kidding me. I just was I thought that shit was funny. I covered the whole thing. I watched you the did? whole thing. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh yeah. And, and like the thing is Ice was just like he was such a like yeah, obviously it sucks he scams people and he did bad stuff too. Yeah, sure. But like you have to take into consideration like Ice up the ante. Ice had some legendary fucking streams back in the day. Yeah. And I thought he was just a really good radio voice. He was. He was a great radio voice on RuneScape. He kept the conversation going. I thought he was fucking great. He was super entertaining. I, there were Yeah, people where... need to put some respect on his name, I man. Just... They forget about that. Yeah, I couldn't look away. Oh, my God. There was this one stream. Talk about it. There was this one stream where I think, like, a bunch of people that were with him on the road trip, they, like, did shrooms and, like... They uh -huh. were like high as fuck on stream, and it was the craziest like stream that I've ever seen. It, it was insane. Yeah, I, it's just it was my t it was my television. Like watching mm -hmm. Ice and his adventures was just like I, I just couldn't stop watching. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean it's like I didn't even watch a lot of it, but I knew everything that happened. I was keeping up with everything and all that. I mean. 
a hundred percent. I loved it. Whoa. I oh. was I was glad to see people doing different stuff. You know, I thought it was great. Yeah, I like I like IRL streams a lot. I like I like all the different uh, possibilities. I think there was like somebody else on Twitch that I watched one time. I forgot his name, but he was like a he was like a bounty hunter, and he would like bust people. That was pretty interesting to watch too. You know, it's not about like Dog the Bounty Hunter, are you? No, it, was, it wasn't Dog the Bounty Hunter. Oh, okay. I think his name was like, uh, yeah, Steven IRL. Oh my God. Yeah. That's that's actually cool. Wow. He would he 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 would use a body cam and he would like stream it and stream but himself busting people. It was pretty entertaining. Oh, didn't they shut him down? I think I think they did because I've never seen him online. I like I haven't seen his streams. Yeah, didn't in a he like pull time. a gun on somebody or some shit? Like I don't know if that was him or somebody else. I I don't know if it was him. Was it him? Oh shit. <laughs> Maybe yeah. It, it's like uh, it it's been a long time. Yeah, it was it was it was like I remember it was when I first started like VTubing on Twitch was like, which mm -hmm. was like before the pandemic. So it's been a while. It's been a while. When did you start streaming? I started streaming in 2017. Okay. And uh, I was, but it was more like, I wasn't doing it because I wanted to like get big. Like I just wanted to like make friends and stuff. And it was just, you know, I, I didn't even have like this body. Like I was using like a, a free avatar because I was in my, it, I was just like, you know, I'm just like hanging out. But then like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I started taking it seriously and I was like, maybe I should like go all in on this VTubing thing and I did and here I am. <laughs> here you are, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> but talk about that's it. That... You know, uh that was... I, I've noticed we've been talking quite some time and uh there are some questions that people wanted me to ask you. Let's do it. Would you? Absolutely. Yay! I'm excited. Also because I saw people be like, when is she gonna get to the questions? God <laughs> Don't worry, I've got plenty of time. Hit me with all of them. I'm oh. fine. <laughs> yep, I'm chilling. Yay! Um, um, I read a couple of them. I know, I know that there's a cat girl okay. question in there some somewhere, but uh, <clears throat> there are lots of exotic monster girls, not just cat girls. Asmund Gold, what are the monster girls that you've heard of? Both of you, what's your favorite type of monster girl? Well, I think that, like, it really depends on, like, what the extra appendages are capable of, right? So, like, you have something like a squid girl. Yeah. I think that one's pretty much self-explanatory, right? Yeah. And then it, it's like there is this one uh, this one uh, girlfriend I had on WoW, and she said that she wanted to make her tongue so long that she could wrap it around my dick like a snake, like a boa <laughs> constrictor. Holy and fuck. so, like, yeah, she was crazy. And, um, yeah, like, actually, like, that, that is probably the most vanilla story I can tell you about her. And, uh, yeah, she's nuts. And so she, uh, she was into that. And so then I, I was thinking to myself, like, well, what else would be the other alternatives, right? It's like, you've got snakes, there's like the, the raccoon, like Snuffy, there's like demons, uh, cats. I, I feel like, at like cows right it's like you know you talk about the milkers right some of them have like the cow girls where they have like multiple boobs and stuff like i've seen a million of these different types of things yeah what about slime girl i i've heard of this but i i the idea i thought was kind of too theoretical so i just never really got into it melody has a slime girl form Oh my god, I yeah. might have to see what this is. She was on uh she was on the other site in her slime girl form a few times. Okay, all right, yeah. That's that's good. Yeah. So I would say probably um it, it doesn't really matter that much to me as long as she's hot. <laughs> that's a You good, know, that's Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> but most of the time Mon I think all monster girls are hot. So I mean, if you're going to go that far, you might as well. Yeah, I, I for me like my favorite type of monster girl. I like demon girls, uh, because I am one. Uh, I, I, see that. I like slime girls, uh, because they can okay. they can be molded into anything, and they can make you know their boobs really really big if they wanted to. I might have to look into this. And you know, uh, if they wanted to, if you were into the vor thing, they could vor you, and you could hang out inside their jelly. 
Oh my god. That's actually yeah, you you'd be like um it'd be like osmosis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can and oh and also god. for people that like uh uh you know, to see things, you could see yeah. things happening when you have fun with her because I guess so, yeah, because it's like halfway translucent. Yeah, so I think I think slime girls are like one of the best ones. I'll have to think about that. That's really interesting. It's it's very uh, obviously malleable, right? Yeah, do some googling in your free time. Mm -hmm. Not on, on, on incognito mode. Yeah, incognito mode. Use a VPN. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll let you know when Melody is jelly. That's what she calls herself. <laughs> okay. She calls herself Jelly. I'll be like, hey, she's on. She's okay. on right now, and she's Jelly. You should go take check her out right now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's gonna. It, it, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it's 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 it's, it's an interesting concept. Next question. Okay. <laughs> oh. What was the main thing that got you into playing World of Warcraft? Following up, what kept you uh, playing the game until your eventual migration to Final Fantasy? Uh, well, I mean, so uh, I got pressured into buying WoW the same way that people get pressured into buying drugs. Uh. Is like a friend of mine at school was like trying to sell me the game to make 20 bucks. And I finally decided, all right, I'll just buy the game from him. And uh, I bought the game and it sat there because I'm like, $15 a month? Who the fuck's going to pay that for a video game? And I didn't play it until like my friend Zach came over that summer. And he's like, man, like, why are we playing anything else if we can play World of Warcraft? And I was like, that's actually a good question. We load it up. We start playing the game. And so that's what happened. That was in 2006. Wow. So I started playing the game back then. For Final Fantasy, I I, I. I didn't really migrate over. Like, I mean, I'm playing WoW, like, literally right now. Like, this entire conversation, I've literally been running running laps around the main city. That's a great, uh, in, that's in a WoW. great way to, to use your time, especially when it's you're It's like multitasking, people. exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I've literally been running laps. And uh, so, yeah, that, that's what I've been doing the whole time. And, uh, like, I play both of them, right? I mean, I played, like, uh, New World, Lost Ark as well. Like, I think I'll just play whichever one I feel like playing. But uh, if, I could, if I could fucking play Final Fantasy while I was talking to you, I would. But I think my computer would explode with all, like, the VTuber stuff out. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I assume so. It must be probably complex to run something like that. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, I, you know, I, uh... I have to get a better computer. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I, I run a two PC setup. It's actually really, oh really my, good. Do you do you like two PC? Because I was thinking about doing two PC, but like my friend was like telling me it's so complicated. You're not gonna do it properly. You so, fuck up so this much. is how complicated it is. Uh, so there's a cord, and I plug the cord into the <laughs> capture card. Yeah. And then that then it works. That's it. Bro, that's so easy. What the fuck? Yeah. Uh yeah, it was the best decision I've ever made streaming. It oh like literally God. lowered my stress for streaming by like 90%. Really? Fuck. Yep. I want that for me. Yeah, it was great. Uh, uh, I would absolutely 100% recommend it. Oh man, I I definitely will do it uh cuz you know, I'm moving, so when I move, mm -hmm. I'll definitely get that set up for myself. Very much recommended. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the recommendation. Because I've been, like, apprehensive about it for a long time. Uh, because it, mm -hmm. everybody always tells me it's a headache. But, I mean, I, it seems like it's not. No, it, it's, it's like the worst thing about it is that it makes my room kind of hot. That's about it. Ah, uh, you can get nice fans. Yeah, but then it's loud. I've got, a, I've got oh, one of true. these things behind me. It's like a big uh, thing. Uh, AC but, unit. Yeah, I, I I understand. Next question. Okay. Yeah, people uh people submitted quite a bit for you, you know. If no, you, it's okay. Like yeah. I'll, I'll, I've got no problem. Well, I'm I'm glad. Thank you. Actually, thank you. <laughs> yeah, of course. If, if you could decide the title and weapon design you get for clearing a feature of Final Fantasy uh, Ultimate, what would the title be, and what would the weapon theme look like? I think that, like, if I could have anything, any weapon at all, yeah, I, like, the title would be the Big Dick Battlemaster. I oh. think that would be a good one. 
because that's what I used to call myself. I, like nobody called me this, but I called myself this. And um, well, I used to say everybody called me this. Like, no, not really. Um, it was pretty much just me. And so uh, uh, that that was it. And uh, the weapon I would want is like just a straight up carbon copy of the Dragon Slayer greatsword that Guts uses oh my in God. Berserk. Hell yeah, yeah. the Guts sword. Just, just straight up, yeah, straight straight up carbon copy. Give me that. That's all I want. God, that's what simple. Yeah. That's why I liked Elden Ring because they had like the big ass fucking sword. Well, they they have that. Well, the thing is, like with Elden Ring, right? Is like, did you play Dark Souls three? I haven't played Dark Souls three because I've been like worried. It, I suck at Dark. Like Elden Ring is like the first like thing that like really got me invested. I tried playing Dark Souls one, and I sucked so bad, and I got discouraged and like stopped playing. But I definitely want to like pick it up and do it again. It's hard to learn and understand, but once you do learn it and you do understand it, it becomes like, oh, okay, now this just, you know, everything about this just makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't worry about it at all, but, like, yes, that's basically the, the way I felt about it was, like, I got into it and I saw the gut sword in Dark Souls 3 and, like, it was way longer. Like, the, the great sword you get in, uh, where is it, the swamp mm -hmm. in Elden Ring is literal dog shit compared to like they had to they buffed it recently because yeah. it was such dog shit man i'm a yeah. filthy magic user but i've been like i've been re like i've oh, been so you watching... kill every boss in one hit i do oh my god i went i went fucking crazy because i i i had to get that fucking common azure spell <laughs> oh my god that I, fucking I kamehameha shit i wanted it so bad but then i was like i started watching like other videos uh and i started seeing people with like all these crazy ass builds with like swords and shit and i'm like fuck yeah. i think i want to change so i, I uh sword. the basically like what i did is i just got you know like the the guy on the horse at the beginning yeah the sentinel guy. so like i got his weapon and then i beat the entire game with it what the fuck Yep, that was it. And and then well that's actually not true because I got a second <laughs> a second one. And then I beat the entire game by jumping up in the air and then hitting them with both <laughs> weapons at the same time. And I just yeah, I beat the whole game. You're the cracked. Halibardo. You're cracked. Yep, that was a was a good time. Like my, my chat was furious. <laughs> I get him back holy fuck. Yeah, I, I think that they would have been happier if I used Commodazer. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I get a lot of shit for being a magic user. I don't know, man. D dual wield halibardos, and, and you, you'll get even more. Oh my god, I want to try it now. I, ugh, I've become like so obsessed with that game. I, I, I play it on my free time all the time. <laughs> it's, it's the best game. Like it's that's so it. It's just like this is, it, this is the best game. Whoa. Okay. 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 N -n -n next question. <laughs> Okay. Before we go, more side chats. Oh, oh, World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy? Come on. Here's the good thing about it is that I don't have a job, I don't have a girlfriend, and I never leave my house, which means that I don't have to choose. We have we have so much in common. I agree. <laughs> yep. Yep. Definitely. I also do not have a job, a girlfriend, or I leave my home. Problem solved. I can play, <laughs> play whatever I want. You can play both at the same time if you wanted to. That's right. <laughs> I've done that before, actually. Wait, really? Yeah, so I'll be waiting to do, like, hunts on my uh, Final Fantasy character, mm. or on, like, my uh, the, the group that I'm in. And then on my Warrior, uh, on WoW, I'll be uh, just, like, actually doing something or I'll be farming a mount. So I'll be farming mounts on two games at the same time. Dude, Saikuno does that shit all the time, and I don't know how he keeps his shit straight, because sometimes he'll be playing, like, three games at the same time, and I'm like, what the fuck? A lot of people in WoW do that. It, it's actually crazy. Oh, my God, that's like five head. Hell yeah. I've never I've That's never why you played, get the good computer. I've never played WoW. I don't know. I feel like it's too late for me to even get into it. It's unfortunate that the game kind of has that reputation because you're not entirely wrong. It can be hard to get into it because it's just so overwhelming. Yeah, it just seems like I've seen, I've watched people play. Okay, so I, I've watched like a, 
There's this there's a streamer that I've watched her play. She's like a, a grandma and she she plays well. I, I know who you mean. I, yes. I, I like her streams, but it's like the game just seems so complicated. And I've seen other it, people play. It and is. I'm just like, fuck, I could I wanna play it, but I'm n I, I just feel like I could never get into it because just too much already. There's a lot of levels of complexity to it that a lot of people don't even know about. I bet. I, I it just seems hopeless for me to ever understand but i feel like people feel that way when they see final fantasy too so <laughs> they're gonna think that about any new game but it's actually really not as complicated as they might imagine uh, i think that's the case yeah because like i've so kind of like uh i kind of got like lured into final fantasy by friends too yeah so i at first i was very like scared to start because it just looked like it looked like a lot. And I'm like, this game has been around for a long time. How the fuck am I ever going to keep up with anything? But I, I started, and then I ended up loving the game a lot. Uh, and then I tried getting other people into it. But it was like the same apprehension that I felt. Uh, I, I kind of took a break from Final Fantasy now. But, uh, yeah. you know. <laughs> I would I would love to play WoW, but it's just it's scary. What uh? What server do you play on in Final Fantasy? Oh fuck, uh, Cactor. <laughs> nah. -uh. Yeah. What the fuck? That's my server. Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, that's my server. <laughs> that's actually my. Yeah, straight up, like that's actually my Final Fantasy server, Cactor. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna play on Midgard Summer, but like I wasn't able to. Yeah, I'm actually on that server. What the fuck? How? I I don't know. Um, <laughs> that's just that was the one that was available, so I just ended up going there. Yeah, me too. <laughs> well, once I once I come back and play, you should come do extremes with us. Yeah, I would love to play. Holy shit, that would be so much fun. Holy yeah, fuck. I'm down for that. Absolutely. Yay! That's crazy. That what are the odds? Holy. <laughs> I, uh, I know. I thought you were like fucking with me. No, um, that's that's insane. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Next question before I freak myself out even more. Ah. Okay. <laughs> uh, have streaming changed your life in a personal way, and what are the pros and cons of being a successful streamer? Uh pros and cons. I mean, like. It depends on what you consider a con, what you consider a pro. I mean, like, I, it, it can be stressful. I think it's like with any job, right? And yeah. especially whenever streaming is one of those things that's very uncertain. You never know, uh, you know, when it's going to be over. You never know when your last stream is going to be. You don't know what's going to happen. So uh, it can be very stressful and unnerving for people to want to do something with their stream or like want to be somewhere and like they just don't know like when it's going to be over or what's going to happen and uh they get banned or something crazy like that could happen get canceled just out of nowhere for just like a mistake and uh it, it can suck but um i i i think that like the the best things about it obviously is like you know you can stream whenever you want even though i stream at the same time every day and i fucking like i wake up early for it and it kills me to do it but i feel like it's just it's what i should do and um anyway so i i do that and i would say besides that other good things about it um i have the money to buy beef jerky every day and i think that's probably one of the yeah that's one of the larger positives uh, but yeah i mean like people recognize me like in real life and that's that could be a negative for some people but I, I grew up in, in my hometown, uh, Austin, like I, I grew up here. And so mm. like, if I have somebody recognize me, like there are people that recognize me from like high school or like middle school, or like we went to college together or something like that. And so, uh, seeing like a viewer or something like that, it, it's not really that much different. Yeah. Well, uh, but I mean, I'm glad I'm a VTuber. I don't, <laughs> but I mean, yeah, I don't you don't have anywhere. to deal with that. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't go anywhere anyway. So, but I don't, I don't know how I would be able to, like, handle people recognizing me. I think I would get really worried. <laughs> it, it can be weird. The way I look at it is, I mean, if somebody's going to shoot me, they're going to shoot me. Oh, God, no. Yeah, I mean, they're going to get me. I mean, the thing is, like, they'll eventually get me. It's whatever. Oh, God, that's how I feel. God. It, people, people, don't get mad at me, chat, please. That's how I feel like with COVID. I'm like, eventually I'm going to die of COVID. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just worried <laughs> that it's it's just a matter of time, you know. They'll get me. It gets me when it gets me. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> I I can understand that absolutely. 
<laughs> but it's yeah, like it, it would freak me out a little bit too. Yeah, like I don't know, like I, I, I got you. Gotta think that way sometimes because if not, you're gonna like live in fear your whole fucking life, you know? Yeah. So it's like just if I'm gonna get got, I'm gonna get got. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I I agree with you. Like you don't know when this shit is gonna end. You know, you could fall off any day. You know. Yep, but that's right, and it could happen, and it, and it could be like maybe not even your fault, right? It's like maybe the game that you play, like this happens to people, right? It's like the game they play, just like it's not as popular as it used to be, and then you know, like they're not they're not as popular as they used to be, and yeah. it's like man, that sucks, right? But that's that's life. Just enjoy it now, and then when it's done, you know, just be it's like, done. It was a good run. <laughs> Yep, that's right. Yeah, yeah, you had a good run. It is what it is. Oh, good run. Time to do whatever the fuck. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, oh, sup, Asmongod? <laughs> Who do you think would win in a fight? Guts from Berserk versus Varian Rin from World of World Warcraft. Did I pronounce your um, name right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I, uh, I, I think that, okay, so with no berserker armor i think guts with berserker armor obviously wins right like it no question it's fucking guts. um varian ren whenever he was low gosh and his personality and like his his humanity was split and he was only a berserker you have to remember like varian defeated garrosh whenever he was low gosh i think that varian would probably beat uh guts if guts didn't have the berserker armor because varian was a, a straight up fucking badass but if Guts had the Berserker armor and Dragon Slayer Greatsword, I think there would be no question Guts would win. Oh, I don't know anything about that other person, but I know Guts would beat a lot of people. Because he's yeah. Guts, you know? I fucking love him. He's the best. He he's the fucking the best. best. Yeah, he's the man. He is. Oh, I, I love him so much. He's so great. Fuck. <laughs> ah! Okay. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm a professional. Okay. <clears throat> oh, what happens in a typical OTK meeting? Are you guys super serious? Or is it a lot of goofing around uh, where it tips me oh. to keep you guys in check? Uh, it can be a little bit of both, to be mm. honest. Yeah, it, it, it can be a little bit of both. And uh, especially, like, if something's happening or, we're, like, planning a big event, there can be some some real goofing around. Like, definitely... But I, I think that honestly, like we only set aside like a few hours every uh, every week to like really say like, OK, we're going to be here on time doing this at this time. And I think everybody kind of respects that. So people try to show up like, yeah, sometimes things happen. People are late. They're not able to show up, et cetera. But I think everybody makes a general good effort to try to be there and be there on time. And I, I actually it, it's probably more it's like more serious than you might expect. You're professionals, of course. Well, we're trying to get some shit done. Yeah, I'm trying to create yeah. an empire. Yes, exactly. Yeah, you know, like the Death Star. <sighs> like the Death Star. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, that, that didn't work out too well, though. Well, it's, uh, think about, like, you know, like the Death Star is uh. just like a really, really big streamer house. Oh, well, about to implode at any moment. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> To be honest, that makes it even more realistic. That's true. <laughs> yep. That's, that's there just you any go. Household though. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> I wish I would. Oh man, I wish I could be. I would love to have like a Vishojo streamer house. That would be so much fun. But uh, can't do that. So. <laughs> well, you couldn't. You guys have like a virtual house. We're thinking about something like that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. God all right. That's... <laughs> Did I, mean... I spoil it? <laughs> No, because uh, the, 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 the next question. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. Sorry, guys. <laughs> this is all your fault. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you could have a mount in real life, what the fuck? <laughs> From each of the MMOs you play, <laughs> which one would you choose? Uh, probably a drain eye female. W wait, what is that? Um, so, like, they got added in Burning Crusade, and it's, like, uh, um, Is that what it's, like, kind of, like, a, it's, like, yeah, it's, like, a goat, uh, but, uh, she has, like, hooves and everything. Oh. She has hooves. Yeah, and a tail. Does she yeah. have boobs? 
Boo. Yes, she does. Oh. <laughs> if you want an actual mount, what would my actual, what actual mount would I want? I don't even know. Maybe an, uh, Invincible would probably smell bad. I don't know. Ashes of War might burn me. It's hard to say. Yeah, it's like logistically, it's really hard to decide which mount would you actually want. Oh, Maybe a hippogriff. Yeah, it'd be like a horse that could fly, like Pegasus. A hippogriff? Is that like the hippogriff in Harry Potter? Yeah, kind of like that. Oh, I like those. Those are cute. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I, I thought of, uh, like, I was going to get an, like, they have alpacas. I was going to get an, a, a real-life alpaca, but I don't know if I want to deal with them. Wait, an al wait, like, as a pet? Yeah, yeah, you just put them in the backyard and shit. What the? <laughs> what? Yeah, go out there, pet them and shit. You can just, you can just own an alpaca. Yeah, I mean, as far as I know, I mean, there's no real reason not to. Oh my god, what is? How would you even? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I have no idea either. I just, you know, might as well try it out, see what happens. Oh gosh, I mean, that would be interesting content. Yeah, I mean, I think, yeah, yeah, have, like, an alpaca cam, or they can, like, you know, like, uh... Oh, an alpaca See cam. what they're doing and everything. Yeah, oh. yeah, exactly. Alpaca milk? What the fuck? You can milk I one? feel like it'd be better if you had, like, four of them, though. It would be, like, having one, they might get bored. Yeah, And, like, you'd need... feel bad, because it's just, like, sitting out there. So you have to buy four alpacas. Yeah, they need friends. They need to have a good time. Yeah. I, it's like a, one time I saw somebody have like two emus. They had like emus at their house. Right, yeah, yeah. And then like you want to have them and you know they can hang out with each other. Yeah. Uh, I actually have a, have a friend. Uh, she runs like a uh, like an animal shelter. Maya, I don't know if you if you know her. But uh, oh, she runs an animal Maya. shelter. And yeah. she has like this, this fucking thing. And it's, its name is Stompy. And like I apparently can't ride it. Like I thought, it's like a it's like an emu or like a ostrich or something like that. Because she said it would be like six feet tall. I'm like, well, why can't I ride it? And and she's like, well, it, that's not what they're for. It's like, well, then why, why does it look like a mount if I can't ride it? <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like I've seen chocobos. Like trust me, you can ride those. It's no problem. I bet you can ride Stompy too. I think they just like they're they're temperamental animals. I think they are like that whenever I finally the last time I saw Stompy the first thing it did was grab my drink and pull the straw out of my drink and then throw it in its pile of shit what the fuck? literal shit oh my god that's aggressive yep that's right what the heck it's a great pet that, that, that's just absolutely dangerous. great that, 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 I have a video of it too I think that's scary oh god it's a lot bigger now too. Apparently, I haven't seen it for a while. They remind me of fucking like uh, I I I got chased by a goose one time and it like bit me. Really? Yeah. I I don't know. Didn't you like try to punch it in the head or something? No, I was. So like I'm afraid of birds because of that encounter with my uncle's yeah. parrot. But that I it extends to like ducks and like geese and stuff. Like any any type of like uh, avian creature. Uh, scares the shit out of me. Also, have you ever seen like, a goose? Because, like, they can fly and sh Say what? Have you seen a goose's mouth? I, I think so, yeah. Like, because I was having this conversation with somebody, and, like, I was telling them that, like, if I wanted to, I could run down and wrestle down and catch a live turkey. <laughs> and they people tell me, they're like, you can't do it. I'm like... You have not seen me run. Like, I can run that motherfucker down like it's Thanksgiving. Uh, like, I, I'm telling you, like, I could get him no problem. I've been, uh, so I've been to Northern California and, like, yeah. to up north before. And, uh, uh, I've heard that, like, turkeys, like, fight. <laughs> well, they do. Apparently, like, they're really ornery asshole animals. Like, because I, I hear, like, there's this one video, and, like, these people couldn't even go outside because the turkeys wouldn't let them out of their own house. And, like, they, they showed the, the the front yard, and there's just, like, four turkeys there. And they're just gobbling around. Ooh. 
And then the moment they open the door, they start making these noises. And it's like, I don't want to fuck with that thing. <laughs> They're so scary. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like, I mean, because this is a, you got to remember, like a turkey, this is like a four foot tall feet. Like, you, you know what? Turkeys, the animals like that used to be dinosaurs. Sure. Like these are this, yeah, th th this is this fucking millennia's raptor true very true okay yeah so it's like th these are they're born killers man we just don't know it if you think turkeys are bad you know what animal's super fucking scary that it's like if you see one you need to run a fucking peacock are you sure because like my friend had a peacock and i remember like so what i would do with the peacock is like we'd go over to their house and like i don't really drink but like we would have like these house parties there and there'd be like, I'm telling you, like, I don't even know how many people there, like probably like 30 people there. And everybody would fuck with the peacock Ugh. and ever because they would always they wouldn't like touch him or anything, but they would yell at him. They'd be like, hey, hey, bitch. Oh and like just talking shit oh to God. it or like move their arms up like to try to get the um, to, to try to get the, the peacock to react to them or oh something like God. that, you know? I wonder why, because peacocks are very territorial and like they're very it aggressive was. animals, like very aggressive. It was like I think it chased somebody one time, and like because I would try to put, I would stand in front of it and I would make eye contact with it, and then I would make noises. I'd be like, rah, rah, and like just to like I would test different bird noises to see which one would make it like respond, <laughs> and then as soon as I figured out a bird noise that would make it respond. I would do that and I would wave my arms up because I wanted to piss it off enough to where it would do the feather thing, you know, that they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I only got it to do it once. That's bird harassment. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't even like the thing is like, I was like, can we pet this thing? And it's like, oh, <laughs> you don't gonna, you don't pet that son of a bitch. They bite, man. They're scary. You don't go anywhere near him. <laughs> I've seen the, I've seen video of like, uh, peacocks like straight up attacking a car and like denting it. Yeah, it's a, I'm like I was surprised. Like they had pigs too, and I'm like, this is a, like you think of a pig, and it's like you know, fucking this is little ass pig, mom. This is like a, this is a big motherfucker. I was attacked by a pig when I was a kid. What the hell? <laughs> what do you? You have like animal aggro. I don't know. Animals just don't. I and it's strange because I love animals, but I I don't know what it is about me that like. Uh, upsets them and I got attacked by uh, my uncle's pigs and uh, yeah. they like they like pushed me like to the ground and I like, cracked my head open on like the pavement god damn I was a kid I was an idiot <laughs> what what the hell did you do what, what did you do anything to like make them mad or no, is this just I think it's just this just an everyday event for them I'm just like very small I guess and yeah uh I, I, I don't really know. I'm not really sure because it was so long ago. I don't remember if I did anything to, like, upset them. Like, what, what you did to set them off? I guess. I probably must have done something because I know... I don't know. I don't recall doing anything to my uncle's bird, but it did something yeah. to get pissed at me and, like, jumped on me. And then I got attacked by a goose, and they have teeth, and that was scary. And I got attacked by fucking pigs. Animals just don't like me. <laughs> That is just like, I mean, that's fucking crazy, though. Like, that you had a, a pig straight up go and try to attack you. Like, oh my god. They fucking headbutted the shit out of me. That's like, yeah, that's like a wild animal. Yeah, it was, it, I think the only animal that's ever been, like, very sweet to me that I never had issues with was, like, a rabbit. Yeah. See, like, rabbits, like, I... I always want to get a rabbit, but, like, the problem is that they shit everywhere. It's true. They poop a lot. Yeah, so, like, I, I don't want to deal with, like, a rabbit shitting on the floor and everything. Like, that's a that's a problem. Yeah, you don't want all those little pellets everywhere. It's, yeah, the little pellets, exactly. Like, the guinea pig that I had did the same thing. Oh, you had a guinea pig? I did, yeah. Oh, they make such cute noises. They go... Yep. Yeah, they do. I thought they they were like it was cute. It was like a little uh like we'd have them in a little little box and like he'd come out and then he'd poop on my bed. It was real real adorable, right? Oh. It was great. Yeah, absolutely great. 
Oh, that, 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 that's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, what was the last anime that you watched? Oh, both of us uh, can answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I watched. Uh, I've been watching Attack on Titan. Oh, really? Are you are you caught up to the last season or no? Absolutely not. I'm on like the fourth or fifth episode now. Oh wait, of oh, season one. Yep, I just started. <gasps> oh my! Because everybody always tells me they're like, "Dude, it's so good," oh and I'm like, God. "All right, let's find out." You're in for a ride. <laughs> yeah, like honestly, like that show is fucking crazy. It. You know what? I I watched it with with uh my uh mod uh a long time ago. And I remember as we watched it together, and as we watched it, I was like, it gets worse. <laughs> She's like, what? What do you mean? Yeah, it's like, like the it first episode, worse. I'm like, god damn, well, this sucks. And it's like the second episode, you're like, wait, it just keeps coming. Dude, I, I, I'm i telling you, the more you watch, I'll just prepare you from now, it gets worse. <laughs> oh, I just expect that. And like, it's I'm so not good. a person to get, like, emotionally attached to the characters, so it's like, if one of the characters dies, now nah, that is what it is. Yeah, it's it's yep. it's a lot. It's a lot, and it's it's uh, I feel like there's like a moment that it kind of like drags like a little bit, but I think it's more because when I watched it, there was like a huge gap where they weren't producing the show, like a huge hiatus, and it was oh, like oh really? Yeah, like it was a really long time, so like people kind of okay. like forgot about it. And uh, people were like nitpicking like the previous season that came out, and then the new season came out, and everybody was just like, hmm. "Yeah, it was like a four-year-old gap. <laughs> Four years of that's nothing. a long time. It like, is. goddamn, it is. It's it's a very long time, but uh, it it it's back now, and it's in its final season. But by final season, they mean part three, final season part three. So like, <laughs> so they'll probably keep making more if people keep watching it. Of course, of course, but the the series yeah. is over now. Like the the manga's finished and everything, and it it it's it's such a good story. I just know that like there's some things that happened that like people got like kind of like what the fuck. But <laughs> yeah, I'll wait and see what it's like. I'm just, I'm just excited. See, the thing is, I just want to see what it's like and uh, go from there. You know, that's how I see it. I think you'll like. I don't it. worry about it at all. I think you'll like like it. I think you'll like it. It's it's a it's interesting and uh, yeah, it's just. What, uh, what was the last one you saw? The last anime that I watched oof, was uh, Tokyo Revengers. <laughs> What's that? Oh, well, it's a show that came out uh, about a guy that uh, he's like in his twenties and he's like living like you know the. The, the way that he describes it, like the deadbeat lifestyle, he works at a convenience store. He doesn't have a girlfriend. He 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 doesn't really have any like interesting things going on in his life. And then all I of a sudden, that. yeah, and all of a sudden he like uh sees the news and he finds out that uh his ex girlfriend from like middle school and high school uh died in like uh I think like a gang gang turf war or something gang violence thing. And yeah. He gets so sad about it because he's like, what the fuck? That he uh, finds out that he could travel back in time. Uh, so he travels back in time to the, when he was in middle school. And he's like, I'm going to save my ex-girlfriend. What a simp. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. All because of a woman. God damn it. Wow. Go back. Like. We go back in time and like invest in Google or something like this. Save your girlfriend from high school. Oh, wow. He goes back in time to join a, a gang and like to climb up the ranks in a gang to try to save his girlfriend. Jesus. And gets man. his ass kicked in like every episode. Down bad. And she doesn't even kiss him. I think she kissed him like one time. Good. Good. <laughs> that's that's what he gets. I'm glad. That's what he fucking gets. <laughs> Jesus. It's a it's a good show. It's interesting, but it's like it's kind of weird because it's like when you look at the characters, like there's there's characters that are like they got like tattoos and shit, and they look like they're in their forties, but they're in like middle school. 
<laughs> I was like, what the fuck? This is not a fucking eighth grader. What is happening? Oh my god, that's so ridiculous. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> and then it's like, oh shit, I, I high do. schoolers are coming, and they look like they're like 45. It's like, what the fuck? Right, yeah. What? Okay, yeah, I, I, I'm not surprised about that at all. I've seen many, many shows like that. <laughs> it's hilarious. It makes me laugh. Oh yeah, like Baki. Have you ever heard of a show called Baki? I'm not sure. I think I might have heard of it, or I could recognize it if somebody showed it to me. So on Netflix, there's a show called Baki, and it's like this guy, and he's very muscular. But I'm talking about like the art style is like every dude is jacked up, where it's like that guy has so many fucking muscles. He has muscles on his eyeballs. Like, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yes, I've heard of this. And it's like the kid, the guy is like, he looks like he's like 28, but he's like 17 years old. <laughs> Uh huh. He's like yeah. Like sixteen, seventeen, and his dad is like, "You gotta fuck your girlfriend because if you don't fuck your girlfriend, you're not gonna be a good fighter, and you're not gonna be able to fight people. So you need to lose your virginity right now." <laughs> I love how like they have shows for that, and it's like this show is obviously for guys. It's like <laughs> I, I always wonder. It's like there's no like I wonder like how many girls watch shows like that. It's like basically probably fucking none, but it's I like this is all. a guy show, and there's like only guys in the show. There's like no real girls in the show. It's just guys, dudes, guys being dudes, and that's it. <laughs> oh god, it's, I, it's great. I love them. I I like it too. Like I I I love watching shows like that because it's just like it's such a it's such a trip to watch, especially like yeah. after his dad talks to him, he goes to his girlfriend and he's like, we gotta fuck. <laughs> And then it's like oh this big, God. huge, like, they make this big, huge ordeal of them, like, banging. And, like, they're in, like, this weird, like, uh, dilapidated, like, house. And, like, they, they're, they like, fucking for, like, 24 hours. And, and then all oh of a sudden, my... because he nutted, he has, like, a power-up. And now he can beat the shit out of everybody. <laughs> so it's just, like, one of those things where they just kind of completely... They just give up on it making sense and they just say, fuck it. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's what it's going to be. It's, it, yeah. I'm telling you, if you want to watch like something absurd, it, watch Baki because every episode is like, who wrote this shit? <laughs> Who yeah, it's like for? they just yeah, they just don't give a fuck. Like, yeah, that's right. It's crazy. You got this jacked up muscular guy that can like kill people with like a like a spoon and shit. It's nuts. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Maybe I might actually, I might actually watch that. that give it looks a, good. give it a chance. Give it a watch. It's, it's, it's incredible. I think. Okay. I think what I find most fascinating is like, how many muscles can they give this person? <laughs> right. Yeah. And they're like, yes. She's like, what's the limit? How far does this go? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. Yeah, and maybe, I, maybe I might do that. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically like, uh. But I, wa I watch a lot of anime because I'm a fucking dirty weeb, so... <laughs> it's okay. I, I used to watch a lot. Now I'm trying to get back into it, so I've got a lot to catch up on. Oh, well, I could give you some recommendations if you ever need any because there's so many good ones. Uh, a lot of them that don't even get talked about, I think, you know? <laughs> it certainly seems that way. Like, I, I just keep hearing more and more and more of them that I just have never heard of, and it's just like, I'm just... Like, oh my god, like... People, I'm gonna watch One Piece, and apparently I have to set aside like a thousand hours for that. <laughs> oh God, One yeah. Piece. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's gonna I take a up, while. I caught up with One Piece. I binged watched it. It took me a long time, but I caught up, and I I'm happy with it. But I could understand why somebody wouldn't want to get into it because there's like a thousand episodes now. It's like. <laughs> oh, I I don't care. That's that's a lot of content. Yeah, you should definitely, you know, do it. <laughs> yeah, Take all right, all right, plunge. yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll try and do that. I'll watch a couple of episodes and see what it's like. I'm telling you, well, okay, I'm gonna warn you from now. It starts off kind of slow. There's a part where it's not very interesting, and you're gonna want to quit. But so you, you've played, wait a second, you, you've played Final Fantasy, you did like all of A Realm Reborn? Uh, I didn't, I have not finished A Realm Reborn. <laughs> okay so but like you've been you've been through some of the boring parts yeah <laughs> i didn't even think they were boring like really? you there, there is i can't get filtered because i like i there is no level of boring content that i can't handle 
Really? Like boring content for another person is just like a normal everyday episode for me. Like I leveled to 60 three times in New World. You're such an interesting person. <laughs> yeah, so I, I there's never going to be a... T yeah, it, it trust me, like it's probably they need to like study my brain a, a, for anybody who'd be willing to put themselves through that torture. That's incredible because I there's so many people that I know, including myself, where it's like there's just something, some things I just can't get into and I just can't, I, I, I don't know, it, it, it's hard, but to have like the drive to like you're fine with like consuming like. Well, it, it doesn't really matter to me a lot because it's like it's all about the narrative to me. Like, I don't really care about the conclusion. I just care about how the narrative is told. I want to know how your brain works. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. Ah, MMO brain. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> I, I think you'd like One Piece then because even though there's like a lot of fillers and like there were parts where I felt like it dragged and I know a lot of people have a lot of complaints about specific parts. I think... That one, I, and I'll say it, and I know some people are like, "What the fuck, most?" I think One Piece is one of the greatest stories ever told. Period. Really? Yes. I will okay, say it. you know what? I'm glad to hear that because I never really knew what to think about it. Like, is it really that good? Is it just something that's like super old? That, like everybody just kind of like watches now because they're invested in it. All right, you it, know what? I, I might look into it's it. It's just insane. Like the amount of like care and like. You could tell that the creator just really loves his story because it's just, it's incredible. It's 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 such a great story, and and Holy I shit. I recommend okay. it to anyone. It's like one of my top three favorite shows. Okay, all right. You know what? I will I will take this seriously then. Yeah, the, the character growth is insane, and right now, uh, the mo the the arc that they're on now is fucking nuts. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it'll take me about a month of binging to get there. Let's go. Let's yeah. Go. Oh my God! We'll do a One Piece stream. We'll talk about One Piece. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm excited. I, I might. I might try and watch it a little bit yeah! tonight and see what happens. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I. I will. I'll, I'll try it out. I'll see what it's like. I'm so excited for you now. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm. I'm kind of excited. Like I have very high expectations it's at this so, point. It's yeah. It's so good. I know. I know a lot of people be like, "What the fuck? I don't like your take." But mm -hmm. it is. It really is. I really believe that it is. Like it's just. It's hard not to like fall in love with the story. <laughs> okay. All right. You know what? I I will I will try it out. I'll see what it's like. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. Like, yeah, why go! not? It's, Let's fuck it. Yeah. What go. could go wrong? Ha ha ha! I'm corrupting people. <laughs> All right. That's <laughs> mm -hmm. before I get murdered. <laughs> okay. Uh, greetings to you both. I hope today has been kind. I heard tell that you like cat girls. If so, if maybe so, hold or oh, bold to ask for a top five. If not, any in particular that you feel are most notable. Oh, they want your top five cat girls. The top five cat girls? I mean, I don't even know. Like, it's not like there's a top five. I would probably just rate them according to bra size, let's be honest. Ah. So, like, it wouldn't really be that interesting of a rating. But, like, if I had to really think about it, it's like, yeah, Yoshlada is number one, definitely. And everything is below that. Somebody gave me um, a body pillow of her. Oh. And I mean, I still, I mean, I might as well use it. I mean, like, I, I, I mean, I might as well. I mean, it, it's just there. So, yeah. <laughs> do you, do you, do you, do you hug her? I mean, like, not intentionally, but yeah, sometimes. Is that the only body pillow you have? For now. Okay. Because I swear I saw... I think somebody photoshopped you with a different body pillow. <laughs> oh, the Asuna one? <laughs> not... Yeah. Well, yeah, the, I think... I also saw you with a Stolfo. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I There there are <laughs> other ones, too. But, like, I, I just... Yeah, I, I've... I, yeah, somebody gave it to me on my first... Uh, uh, my my first PO box stream. Oh, interesting. Yep. You should you should definitely look into more cat girls and see if like there's other girls that can satisfy your fancy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I'm a weirdo. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
the let's let's, let's do another one there. I I like cat girls too, but I also would rank them on tit sides though. <laughs> I just, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because it's like, that's why it would just be a boring rating. I mean, like, damn, it's just, they're like, is it really just that simple? I'm like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's it. All it's, right. It's, sometimes it's, it's just, just that, that simple. simple. It's not that deep, man. <laughs> yep, let's not, let's not overcomplicate things. Wait, do you like, do you like feet? Do the... I like feet? No. <laughs> I mean, well, I, I could ask you if you like feet, but do you like, like, the Fate no. series? Like, Fate Grand Order? I don't know what that is. <gasps> oh God. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is, so well, I'm I'm not sure. We'll leave that for another day. <laughs> okay. Cause that that's a that's a the, the Fate series is a long, a very very long interesting thing. <laughs> Mouse, stop! I will. I, I'm not gonna corrupt them. I'm sorry. I think I've done enough damage today. <laughs> I, well, all right. All right. What is it? Uh, well, there is a series of, like, shows and, like, uh, mixed media, uh, I guess you can call them the Fate series. Uh, they got okay. anime, it, it was a visual novel originally, and by visual novel, I mean, like, you can fuck, like, the girls, but... <laughs> well, what do you I mean, mean by that? You can fuck Saber. <laughs> like, but how do you do that? Like, how does that work? Oh, have you ever played a visual novel before? No. Basically, it's like a it's like a storybook, an interactive storybook where you make choices, and those choices affect how the story progresses. And sometimes, oh, yeah, the objective. I did do one of these. Did so you? I did this one. It was called like Needy Screamer Overload. <gasps> oh my god! And <laughs> yeah, and so I did this, and I tried to. I kept feeding her drugs and making her depressed. Oh shit! And I I, I was trying to kill her. But then she started dating another guy, and oh, no. it was like she went live on her stream, and then it was just her with like another successful streamer, and I got banned from the chat, and then the game ended. Oh no, she banned you! What the fuck? Yeah, and it literally said you got. It literally said I got cucked. Oh my god! After all your sacrifice, what the fuck? After all, all that that bitch did that to me. <laughs> I can't believe, you believe this. that. You're fucking Oshi. God damn it. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's furious. Oh god. I wanted to play that game on stream, but I was like <laughs> apprehensive. Oh I played yeah, I played it on stream. You it played it on stream? A... Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, it was a pretty interesting time. <laughs> well it's good because that one sounds like tame. Uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of visual novels where it's like the objective is to fuck. That's kind of what I'd expect. You know. And then, and that's the point. You you want to get those uh those really nice screens where it's like a girl and a guy just fucking away. You know. Well, I think that's why people play the game, right? That's what it's, it's true. about. It's true. The the objective is to to obtain the PNG. <laughs> and and you're not even wrong. Nope. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like an achievement. It's just like gotcha games where you play, you roll to get that PNG waifu, you know? Yeah, no, you're you're absolutely right. And I that totally brings agree. Me back to Fate Grand Order, which is a gotcha game okay. where you can uh, fight using uh, summoned uh, people from history or uh, fiction, and they turn into really sexy anime people, and they fight for you, and uh, you can uh, collect them like Pokemon. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I might have to look at this. Yeah, okay. Please be careful. <laughs> is so people told me about a game called like Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh. Is that one of those visual novels? Yeah, it is. It's a kind of it's it's pretty I I see. There's no sex in it, but it's pretty deceptive oh. because it markets itself as like something really happy, but then really weird shit happens. Oh good. I like that. You should try it. I, I promised my stream I would play that game. Really? I will. Yeah. Oh, shit, I want to watch you play it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? I want to watch you play it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, what could go wrong, right? <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> yeah, we'll find out. I guess you're going to have to find out because I'm not going to tell you what happens. Good. <laughs> oh, God. Don't tell him! <laughs> He'll have fun. It'll, it'll be an interesting mm -hmm. stream. Very, uh, I'm sure it will be. Yeah, full of lots of uh, confusion and ho uh, fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
we'll have to see. Don't worry, it's TOS friendly for the most part, I think. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Wait, I skipped a question? No, I didn't. Did I? Oh! Was your standard intro, what's up, it's your boy Asmongold, something you planned, or was it something that just sort of happened, naturally? Um, my original intro was even longer and more TOS. Really? And, uh, yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, and, and so, uh. I actually cut this one down, and to be honest, like, I, like, the sup y'all, it's me, it's your boy Asmongold thing. Yeah. It actually wasn't really an intro. It was just what I did. And then people turned it into a meme because that was just how I talk. Like, if you watch any of my videos from that time, like, or even now, like, that's just how I talk. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't even, like, a, a specific thing at all. I was like, Saikuno is like, it's Saikuno here. <laughs> yeah, it just happened. Ah. I, I don't understand this whole intro thing. I don't really do that sort of thing. Uh, I usually just say, like, uh, oh, what's up, motherfuckers, or Mama Mello. Yeah, I understand that. I, I kind of do that, like, on my second stream. Usually the first thing I say is, is this thing working? A oh. And then they're like, yeah, and I'm like, okay, all right, let's go. Oh, yeah, I say it is I, Satan. Satan? Oh, shit, okay. Yeah, that's my lore. I'm actually, I'm supposed to be Satan. Well, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, you know, just just the just your average Satan having a good time, uh, hanging out. I mean, it makes things a little bit more exciting, right? Keeps things more interesting, etc. Yeah, yeah. People, some people don't really understand. Uh, they get surprised. They're like, "What, Satan? Are you a Satanist?" And I'm like, "No, I'm just Satan." <laughs> it makes it easier, you know. Yeah. Let's cut. You're not. A, you're a leader, not a follower. Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, why, it's why I was removed from my position back when I was in heaven, you know? That's that, oh, that, yeah. that role play. Oh, yeah, I heard play, about that. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they got rid of you. They did. We had creative differences, so I got fired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the yeah. man upstairs didn't like it. He didn't like it. It's fine. You know, I got banished. But that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, management just didn't see eye to eye yeah, with the yeah, vision. Yeah, yeah, They didn't. They 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 couldn't understand my ideas. <laughs> we need, we should come up with lore for us. Oh, <laughs> we'll come up with your lore, your VTuber lore. I, I I think that like the lore for my character should just be like, one day he was here, and that's it. You just like literally no backstory. Yep, no backstory. Just showed up, and there he is. All right. Yep, there's no backstory, nothing. Oh, you're like the guy from the Terminator that you just appear naked, like, in front of people, and they're like, what the fuck? And he's like... And then fuck he gets you, to work. asshole. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I and, get it. Yeah, and then he starts working, and he becomes, like, a robot guy. Uh, well, yeah, I think that's kind of what happened, right? I mean, yeah, n not, even, not that kind of work, but yeah, in general, I would say so. Yeah, he can be like, uh, yeah, he can be like Isekai, like your Isekai here. Okay, all right, yeah, I'll, I'll take that, sure. Ah, I like it, I like it already. We'll write this up later. Okay. <laughs> the next one. Hey, Asmund, big fan here since 2019. I'd like to ask you, what would be your personal most memorable moments as a Twitch streamer so far? Wish you all the best. Keep rocking. Um, I think that there are a lot of like really, really good streams that, that have happened. Like, like most memorable moment. I don't really know about like my most memorable moment, mm. but I think that like going back on it and just like all of the, just like random stupid ass streams, the ones that I really appreciate the most and I like the most are the ones where it wasn't anything like really bigger planned. It was just like some random bullshit that just kind of came out of nowhere and it yeah. just happened. Yeah, those are always fun. I remember this stream where I killed Garuda Extreme was really fucking good. That was badass. Oh? Uh, Garuda, it's a boss in Final Fantasy. Oh, man. Yeah, I... that, oh, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of them. Like, I'm telling you, like, there really is a lot of them. 
you've had a, you've had a lot of fun. I, I, I well, I've mostly watched like uh, your Elden Ring, and I watched uh, mm -hmm. I watched you play uh, Vampire Survivors a lot. So those were some good times. I, wasn't... I mean, they were. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah classic WoW launch. Like first time I hit a hundred thousand viewers. That was crazy. Oh my god, that's a lot. <laughs> It was crazy back then, too. Like, now it happens kind of regularly. People can get up that high. But, like, back then, it was like, bro, like, nobody could get up that high. People didn't think it was possible. I and, like, uh, like, say what? I remember because, uh, I mean, I've been watching Twitch for quite some time. And it's, like, I remember yeah. one time, I think, like, I was watching, like, Austin. And, like, he, like, hit, like, those numbers. And I'm, like, holy shit. What the fuck? That's so many people yeah. watching. What the fuck? Yeah, it was nuts. Like, I, I was just kind of in shock, honestly, that that many people would want to watch. But, like, you know, it was just a really big deal. Lost Ark launch stream 400k. Holy shit. I got, I think it was like 463k viewers. Oh, my God. That's so much. It was a lot. Did you, did you like that There's a lot of people game? watching. Say what? Did you like Lost Ark? Because I tried getting into it, but then, like, I don't know. I kind of, like... Can you see the reflection <laughs> on my... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! You're you're in deep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there you go. That that's a good answer to your question. I, I have a th I have a thousand hours in the game. Holy fuck! Whoa! Yep. Really? Yep. Oh my god! Yep. I, do yep. I, really, I don't leave the house. I really want to like get into it, but I just I don't know. Like it 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 it's hard to like hold to grasp me. It's hard to, to, like, stay interested in a game if, like, you don't have a group of friends playing it with you. Yeah, that's exactly my problem. <laughs> I need, I need, yeah. I need MMO friends. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I, I always have, like, for example, like, anytime that I go and I do, like, one of these games, I'll have, like, a bunch of people come with me. Hmm. And, like, we just have, like, a community that just like, goes from game to game, whether it's, like, New World, Final Fantasy like wow lost ark like we just kind of play together and yeah. so uh it, it's like and different people will show up for different games and just like everything like that so uh, i i think it's really cool did you did you like new world <laughs> um i i so i think i'm probably one of the only people in, in the world that did actually like the game uh, i thought it was a great game i thought it was a great idea it's like i just you know i i, I wish there was like more to it like yeah. I, I do, I was so excited for it. I I love New World so much. I played it all day, every day. It was great. I like I wanted to try it, but then I watched somebody streaming it, and I saw the guy was like up against like he had just started the game, and he was like up against like a wolf, and it like took him like fifteen minutes to kill the fucking like I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why is it so, so hard uh to kill that fucking wolf? <laughs> So it it wouldn't necessarily be wolves that would be the issue, but it's like imagine doing that and like you have to kill. Imagine wishing it was just one wolf, <laughs> right? Because like you're just sitting there and dealing with like 50, 50 wolves, and then you go back into town and you turn it in, and there's a quest to kill fifty more wolves. You go back out there, you kill fifty more wolves. Oh, you God. finally level up into the new zone. Guess what's in the new zone? That's right, wolves. <laughs> And guess what you have to kill? 50 of them. Get ah! to work, Billy. And oh, then God. imagine you do that for fucking six hours or six days. And then finally you get into one of the end game zones. It's like, okay, like this is taking some time, but I've worked on this and I've earned this. All right, where are the quests over here? Oh, dear God. 50 wolves. <laughs> That's right. But these wolves, you've got to keep in mind, these wolves are... um. Well, they're actually just wolves. Yeah, it's just there's actually literally no difference oh God, between them like at so, at whatsoever. <laughs> yep, it's literally the exact same thing. That's no! right. That was the New World experience. Okay, never mind then. I never want to play the game. <laughs> it will be good one day. Okay, New World will rise again. Cold. <laughs> yes. Yeah? Very much so. Oh, God. <laughs> Very much so. It's okay. You have lost Ark. It's fine. There's no way I put a thousand hours. I put a th over a thousand hours in a new world too. There's no way I put a thousand hours, guys, and it was wasted, right? Oh, I mean, there's God. no way that's what happened. Oh God. Yeah. I no. Can't. Absolutely not. Oh no. It's got to come back soon, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like like Among Us. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, sure, exactly. It'll come back. It'll all come back. They'll, 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 they'll all come back. That, yeah. <laughs> Next question. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, since uh, Asmongold drinks so much, Doctor Pe <laughs> Doctor Pepper, does uh, he know who the mythical Doctor Pepper is? Perchance, what the fuck is this? There's a there's the an actual Doctor Pepper person. Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe I would, but wouldn't he get banned off Twitter for misinformation? Probably. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man. I'm not sure. I've, I've no, I've ne no, I've never fucking heard of an actual Dr. Pepper, okay? What the heck? <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't. I was no, a Sprite girl. <laughs> sprite? Yeah, I was a Sprite kid. <laughs> Did you ever have Sprite Remix? No, what the hell is that? Oh my god. Wait, what is that? Oh my so this was like back in like uh i don't know like 2000 or so they had sprite remix and like it was like imagine it's sprite but it's like more of like a strawberry-ish flavor oh. and it had like more flavors into it it was so fucking good and i would drink it all the time and they got rid of it oh my god i'm so mad that they did that to me they always get rid of good things. They always, yeah, and and then they always keep the thing that nobody wants. What is? That's the worst part. What is a what is a drink that nobody wants that you that exists? Um, let me think. A drink that nobody wants. You know how they have like ever since they had a vanilla Coke, everybody tried. That's one big red. I saw that in chat. Literally nobody wants Big Red. I, I I cannot accept the fact that a real human being would be willing to drink Big Red. I, I, I will not accept that. So imagine Big Red is like... Okay. Um, it's like... It's it like, like water. water. It's like water with a bunch of syrup in it. Ew, what? It's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it, it's absolutely fucking disgusting. It it's like yeah, it's awful. Oh god, I fucking hate zero mist. Blech. I never had that. I always thought that was like some sort of like scuffed sprite and it I is, never tried it. It's scuffed sprite. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it is scuffed sprite. <laughs> yeah, not for me. Oh god, I hated it. I hated it. I don't, I don't understand. Like, my aunt was, like, obsessed. She loved that, and she liked to drink, uh, what was another one? There was this other drink that she used to drink a lot called, uh, Iron Brew. Iron Brew? In, I don't in, know what that is. So, okay, well, my Puerto Rican-ness, they, we pronounce it Iron Bean, but it's Iron Brew, mm -hmm. or Iron, yeah, Iron Brew, and... It's like I get I don't even understand the taste. Like I don't know how to explain it. I guess it's kinda like cream soda or something. Oh, that sounds good. I like cream soda. Yeah, it tastes pretty good though. It it tasted pretty good. But uh that I remember she used to only want to drink that and drink uh uh Sierra Mist and I'm just like <laughs> Oh man. Like that's just that's just the wrong decision. You know? Like that's just, it's really it's just the wrong call. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's all about Sprite. Oh, Boricua, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm Puerto Rican, what's up? Hello. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, uh, when when you're Puerto Rican and you see somebody else is Puerto Rican, you automatically have to say, Me too! And, and acknowledge the other Puerto Rican in the room. It's the rules. I didn't even know that. Like, here, like, we don't have, we have a lot of people from, like, Mexico, like, Mexicans, but, like, I don't know about Puerto Ricans here in Texas. I think it's a rarity, but I think it occurs sometimes. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's hard for me to say. Next question. No more of this Dr. Pepper. I don't I don't really like Dr. Pepper. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It tastes like medicine. <laughs> it's I think it's delicious. That's good. That's more for me. I'm happy. Yeah, you can have you can Yeah, have I'm not Dr. upset Pepper. about that. That's fine with me. I it just it's just that it tastes very similar to a medicine that I used to have when I was a kid, so it kind of like trips yeah. up my brain. <laughs> anyway, uh, what made you want to join OTK before you hate me now for hating Dr. Pepper? 
I I made it. Exactly. Yeah, I I made it. Like I uh, I started it because I was like. I felt like there were other orgs out there and I thought to myself, man, like, why don't I just make my own org and I can do my own stuff instead? Because like, I was like, why would I not just do something for myself instead of, you know, like do some, somebody else's stuff. Right. Yeah. Like it, it seemed like a good idea and like, I wanted to do my own thing and that's just like kind of how it started. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I mean like yeah, that, that's, that's kind of like what it was. And then I, I got some friends together and like, we started actually like, talking about it and it became like a little bit more legitimate, uh, a little bit more realistic. And then as time went on, it kind of just happened. It's Google Chat Energy Organization. I agree. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly in shock of, of how how well everything has gone uh, really? over the uh, over the years. Wow. Yeah, you guys are also I mean, entertaining. Well, I mean, still, it, it's it, there's always an idea, right? Yeah. But it's like it's one thing for there to be an idea, and it's another thing for the idea to happen. You know what I mean? Make your own organization, mouse. I'm in one. It's called the Shoujo. <laughs> Yeah, that's with all the VTubers. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not 100 percent though. Uh, yeah, we we we're, we're a VTuber. Uh, uh, a nice yeah. VTuber company. Uh, there's other VTuber companies that are great too. You know. Uh, we got we got our own thing going on. <laughs> okay, but, I thought so. I just make, was making sure. But I wonder. I wonder. Would would a VTuber ever fit in like a flesh person organization? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I, I think that like with anything like that, it's a matter of like how creative are you with content and how can you incorporate people into like content that makes them feel like they're part of it. And mm -hmm. uh, it also makes it more interesting. So yeah, I, I, I think so. I feel like people uh, are more open now because, it, you know, when VTubing was like smaller, people, I know a lot of, you, let's just be honest, people were weirded out. They were confused. They didn't know what the fuck. A lot of times when I first started streaming, people were like, are you a robot? Is this a recording? Yeah. And it's just like, no, I'm not a fucking robot. I'm a fucking human being. Suck my balls, you know? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, uh, you know, I feel like people are more open to it now. And I can see uh, VTubers being, like, in, like, normal groups and stuff. I mean, you got Vienna in, like, Cloud9. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I don't see why not. That's that's the way I see it. It's like, why not? Why not have somebody who's like a VTuber in the org? Yeah, absolutely. It's like, like I, I don't I don't think it's like a disqualifier, if that makes sense. Just think about it. You have somebody that doesn't age, doesn't, yeah. doesn't, uh, you know, it's just no aging, no, no appearance changing unless they want it to be. It's like, unless uh, they want it to be. Yeah, unless they unless they want to change their appearance, it's like it's it's just it's it's great. <laughs> yeah, it's I think great. most people are pretty open to the idea and they think it's cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I know I know some people are apprehensive, but it's okay. You know. Yeah, uh, I mean I think that people just like they I, I think it's just it's it's hard to understand if you I think there's a lot of cases where people try to take things online a little bit too seriously, right? They try yeah. to take too much sense out of things or to make too much sense out of things whenever it's actually just really kind of just for fun and, you know, things are just fun and, and that's all there is to it, you know? Yeah. Uh, there's no complicated end game for this or anything like that. It's just a fun thing that people like doing. I heard a Tech is getting a VTuber model made. Who is? Tech. Pectone. Oh, oh yes, yes. I've heard about that too. Well, he he's a he's a huge fucking weeb, so I'm not surprised <laughs> at all. Yeah, it's par for the course, of course. Yeah, I'm just kind of expecting it. But now we gotta get you in there. You gotta, we we gotta make it happen. I would be I would be as I said. I'm willing to try. I'm willing to try. Why not? I will try almost anything unless yeah. it's a vegetable. Sorry, I'm going gremlin. <laughs> okay, it's fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, hello, Mousey and Aslan. What is the biggest technical issue either of you have ran into during a stream, and how did you handle it? So, um, this happened literally a week ago, Ooh. where I had an interview with the game director of World of Warcraft, and I couldn't get the uh, the, the call to capture. Uh, I I couldn't get my my uh, what's it called 
my my video capture to work and i couldn't capture the, his video at all so it was just like me sitting there and it wasn't working at all i was literally freaking out sweating and i started the worst part about it is i started the call early with them because i knew something stupid would happen i'm like listen i know myself this is just what's going to happen one way or another and like yep there it is and it did it did absolutely happen and uh how i fixed it was i ended up just doing a full desktop capture and just leaving it right there on the front and just not touching it at all oh my god and then just kind of doing the rest of it by memory how did it you was survive? very stressful i'm so afraid yeah i was just like completely <laughs> freaking out oh god that's like my nightmare <laughs> What about you? I, I I had something similar, but uh, I've had like issues like I've done an IRL stream with a friend where uh, mm -hmm. it's basically like my model on the stream and then my friend is out yeah. in the world going out and about and uh, I always worry that like something's gonna fuck up or like some sort of delay. We've only had like minor like audio issues. Uh, I, I think I'm like, I think for the most part, I'm so paranoid of shit happening that I like over prepare for things, you know, kind of like how we we were on earlier yeah. too. Because I'm just like, fuck, something bad is gonna happen. But for the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me, technically, and it's not even had to, uh -huh. anything to do with the stream. It was my model. Uh, I don't know what happened, but like I was having like a a, a very hard a uh, day, and I kind of like. You know, I'm a little bit of a pussy, so sometimes I cry on stream, and like I, I was a little bit overwhelmed and a little bit like uh, emotional on stream, and I was joining a friend for a collab, and I don't know how the fuck it happened, but like somehow like my model's eyes like disappeared off my face. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I had no eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, that would freak me the fuck out. I like, was like, oh shit, I can't see. Yeah. <laughs> I laughed so Okay, hard. all right, yeah, that's enough right but, there. Yeah, oh my god. I always god. worry because it's like, I've, uh, since the eye incident, I know. So, like, if you look at my model right now, yeah. like, when you have a VTuber model, like, we look like a very cohesive thing but what's really happening is like a model is made up of layers so there's like layers of drawings that are connected together to make movement so like essentially if there's like a glitch so it's like in photoshop like one layer is the horns the other layer is the wings yeah. and yeah yeah i understand i'm like an onion you know right and it's like if something fucked up could happen like my clothes can literally like disappear and i always have like that fear that like accidentally like my top will like just like glitch off and like you'll see my boobs <laughs> that would be horrible and i'm like oh my god i'm getting banned so you know i yeah uh I, my model does not have like my model's like a doll but i know some people that like their models underneath have like uh bits mine do not because i'm like worried but I know some people that it's get probably like, a good idea. Yeah, I know some people that get bits on, and I'm like, oh god, that's like horrific. But yeah, like it's like what could have, what could go wrong, you know? Everything. <laughs> yeah, it's like it could all, yeah, this it could only go wrong. <laughs> who might these? Oh, somebody's like, who might these people be for research purposes? Yep. I'm not telling you. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> no, I, I I get that. I understand. Yeah. But yeah, it, it, it's happened. Like, I've had, like, my eyes disappear. And, like, I, I find that to be, like, like the the most worrisome one. Because, like, I don't want, like, my clothes to disappear while I'm, like... I have a lot of, like, jiggle physics, you know? I, even if I, I don't know. have bits. I don't want, like, my bare boobies to be, like, flipping around everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that would be a little bit, uh, little bit awkward for people. Yeah, for sure. I understand. Yeah, yeah definitely. I have a... There's a... There's a... I have a friend that she's in Bishojo and uh, her knockers are massive. Like, I'm talking like colossal tits. And uh, she, ended yeah. up getting, uh, she ended up getting suspended because her boobs are way too big. <laughs> and she was like Why? bouncing them around. Well, I mean, it was her first stream and she was having a great time. And, and she, was, she was very enthusiastic, bouncing around everywhere. But they were very, very large. So what? 
I don't know. I think so. Ever since then, uh, sometimes she likes to put a Bible on her boobs and she covers them because she doesn't want Twitch to get up upset. Damn. <laughs> I think that happened to actually like a Korean streamer before. Uh, the exact same thing. Wait, I think I know which one you're talking about. Velvet. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Yeah, that's literally what happened to her. So oh, I, I understand. Oh my god, I, I consume a lot of Twitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on here pretty often too. So it's yeah. okay. Don't well, feel too bad about it. It's nice to know that somebody else is a, is a shut in just like me. <laughs> yep, that's just about right. Yay! We have, we have, we have stuff in common. I would say so. Yeah, yeah, I think that most people online have a lot in common with each other. Probably more than they'd imagine. It's true. It's true. It's true. If only you just open up and talk to people, you know. Yeah. It's hard though. <laughs> okay, next one. Honest question. What makes cat girls so attractive? Same shirt, by the way. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, the ears. Like the ears whenever they move them around a little bit. Uh, wait. You only like cat girls because of the ears? Well, not just that. But I mean, like, I, I think also, yeah, it's mainly the, it's mainly the ears. Well, that's what makes them special, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a, yeah, it's a pretty simple one. I yeah, mean, it's, it's obviously it. They have they have like they have tails too. Yeah, but like I don't really give a shit about the tails that much. No. It's mainly the ears that are cuter, I think. I see. So no tail, but you like the ears. The, the tails are fine, what but it's just it's not. Go ahead. What about cat teeth? Like some of them have like fangs and stuff. Well, I don't know. I mean, like, I remember uh, I thought uh, fucking, like, one of the first, like, bro, I, I remember whenever Underworld came out, I thought Kate Beckinsale was, like, so fucking hot. And, like, she was a vampire, so she had the same fangs. Yeah. So, like, anytime I see that, it reminds me of that. God, she was hot. Fuck. It was ridiculous. I and love, she still yeah. is hot. I love, the first yeah. movie was so good. It was so fucking good. I watched it so many times. Me too. For the plot. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like the like, uh if there were three of them, right? I could have sworn. I think I think there's three. like ten. Like they, <laughs> they kept making more of them. I didn't uh, like the one I, with I watched... the werewolf with the with the hybrid one. That was kinda like, what the heck? What's happening now? <laughs> I think that was the first one, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Was it the first one? It was like a yeah, hybrid. I mean, they... yeah. yeah, I think so. Wait, what? Fuck. I have I don't to see. <laughs> People say it was the second one. I don't know. There's five of them. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, he like he was like it was like a guy, and he was like half vampire, half werewolf, and he like turned into like this blue like creature guy. That was the first one. I'm like ninety percent sure. Oh man, yeah. everything just like melts together sometimes. <laughs> it was a long time ago. <laughs> Her daughter. Oh yeah, there was one where she had a kid. That was another one. What the fuck? Yeah, didn't she have, like, a kid in one of them? I stopped watching him after, like, the second or third one, right? It's like, there's a lot of movies. Everybody always, they always do this, where it's like, the movie is good as a one-shot, and then they have to add in a bunch of extra ones. It's like, nope, oh, it, it was fine with just one. That's all we need. Did you like, like, a, did you like, like, a Blade or, like, any, like, I don't know. I love Blade. I don't know why I even asked this question. To be honest, like I never even really watched that or anything. I never, I've never seen Blade. Straight up, I've You've never seen. Never it. seen Blade. Never. Oh, it's so good. Oh my god. Yeah, I have never seen it. But they're like rebooting it now, so. <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna be awful. Yeah, probably. I, I don't know. I, I want to have hope though, but probably. <laughs> if only. Yeah. What, what what kind of movies do you like to watch, by the way? Uh, I don't really watch a lot of movies. To be honest, like, what, what movies do I really usually watch? I'm, I watch, um... I guess, like, anything that comes out and, like, a lot of people like it, I just try to try it out and see what it's like, you know? See, see if it's any good. Like, I mean, Lord of the Rings is my favorite movie of all time. Whoa. So, like, I, fantasy I like movies, one. stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, first one's my favorite, too. I First one, the, the second one, uh, I, I I ended up watching it again, but the first time I watched the second one, I'm gonna be honest, I fell asleep. 
<laughs> I fell asleep. It was yeah. very long. It was very long. Uh, but I watched it again. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed watching all three of the movies. It was really good. Yeah, it was like it was my my favorite. It was just a lot. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Also, I had like a teacher back in school, and every time I think about like Lord of the Rings, like, cause I had a teacher back in like uh high school that she was like obsessed with uh Lord of the Rings, and she was obsessed with The Hobbit, and like everything in her life revolved around that, and like she would always like oh try my to, god like, bring it into the lessons all the time, and I'm just like Jesus Christ, I felt like I got yeah, that what crammed down this? my throat every day. Yeah. In her class. Is this about what? Yeah, is this about English or or fucking yeah, you know, Lord of the Rings? Yeah, she made us like do like a a, a very deep analysis on like The Hobbit, and I'm just like, <sighs> oh my god. I, I, it kind of. I mean, like... I would have loved. I would have loved that class. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, but you know what? Like when I was younger, like I feel like I didn't appreciate things as well as I would appreciate them now. I feel like yeah, if I were to go back and do it now, I would find it fascinating. But at that age, like I just didn't really care. <laughs> I did, but I don't know. It's it's hard to explain. It was like uh, I don't know. <laughs> I was too much into anime. Sorry about that. Yeah, oh, I, okay. I felt like I really, really, really liked the show. And uh, I really liked the, the movies. And, like, I watched them constantly. <laughs> and I went back and I watched The Hobbit as well. Like, I, I went through all of them. Like, I have the books. And I'm really, really into it, too. Yeah. yeah. I realize we've been on for, like, three hours. Uh, I understand that you're very, very, very busy. So, uh, I, uh... It's okay. I can do some more questions. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Yeah, I'll I'll do a couple more. Okay, okay, we'll we'll do a couple more. We'll do a couple more. Okay. Oh, uh, what was the moment for both of you when you realized you either made it or had realized how popular your streams or content was? Uh, <laughs> what? Um, uh, for me, like I I feel like it was probably whenever I I quit school. Ah. Yeah, I I quit school. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop going to school. I'm going to do this this thing, and it's gonna be, it, it's gonna be my job, right? And if it yeah. goes well, great. If not, well, at least I tried. So uh, I th I think that's probably the time that I thought I really made it. Like, was I making good money then? Like, I mean, not really, right? It was just like YouTube money, but uh, you know, it was enough. And I, I think it's like there's different levels of made it, but I think that was the first time, at least. I think like I I don't know. I don't. To me, it's like I just I still see myself like. No, nothing special, but I think that's like a me problem. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, like your stream completely popped off. You got all the. I remember you did that subathon, which I was know. fucking insane. I did. Oh my god. Yeah, I remember that. I mean, it was ridiculous. So I, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't downplay yourself at all. It was incredible. You're too kind. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It was just something like I've always wanted to do a subathon because I've seen people like do do them all the time, and I always found them to be so enjoyable. But like, my health was never good enough to do, and like, I was like, man, I, because when I started streaming, like, I was only streaming like one hour a day, and then there was like two hours, and then. Uh, yeah. when I started making money, like, I could afford better healthcare and stuff, so I mm. was able to, like, take care of myself better, and, uh, I was getting healthier, and then I realized, oh, shit, I could stream three, four hours, and then, uh, I did, I did, like, a, I did my birthday stream, and that was, like, seven hours, which was, like, the longest stream at the time, and then, uh, for my anniversary stream, I did a charity, uh, stream, uh, and, uh, I was on 11 hours, and that's when I was, like, I think I'm gonna try to do it, and uh, I didn't think it would last a month. I thought it would only <laughs> last like I swear to you, I thought it would only be on like three days. I was not prepared, but uh, I'm I'm really happy that I did it, and I can't believe that I did it. I still can't believe it feels like a dream. <laughs> yeah, like did, did this happen? But like, yeah. did it really happen? Yeah. Yeah, I, I I've looked back at times for my stream like that before too. Yeah, I understand that. I'm just like, whoa! I can't believe I did this, but. I'm really happy that I did it, and uh, I had I had a really uh, good time. But I don't know. I feel like I'll always feel like I'm just like that dumb idiot in my room, just like hanging out, not 
you know, I don't really think too much about like, you know, oh, I blew up or whatever, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really spend that much time either. Like, I mean, I, I know my stream's successful. It, it does well and everything, but like, I don't know. There's like people that, that they'll take that and like make it, it'll make them feel like they're like above other people or something weird like that. Oh, fuck that. Like, I just, it's not that big of a deal. It's just a stream on a website. Who cares? Yeah. So I, I I don't know I I try not to take it very seriously. Yeah, we're just having fun, you know. Having yeah, just time. having fun, exactly. Having fun, hanging out, having a good time. Mhm. Mm well, next question. Uh, would Asmund Gold be open to streaming with a VTuber avatar? <laughs> yep, as I said, that's already a yes. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, let's go. If so, what would he, what would he like to look like? I guess. What would? Uh, what would I want to look like? Um, I don't know. Like, I, I actually, I g genuinely, I have no idea. I'd probably have to see like a handful of types of concept art, and, and then make a decision off of that. I, I, I could help you out with that. I know, I know people. Yeah. So I, yeah, because it's like I don't even know like what's on the table, like what's possible or anything like that. So uh, I'd really have to see for myself. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. No, I've seen, I've seen a lot of things. I've seen a gun VTuber. I've seen a dick VTuber. I've seen a lot of things. Oh, I think I probably do that one. Then. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I they I don't think they stream anymore, but I I saw I them around not. on like Twitter and stuff. So it was uh, it was interesting. <laughs> yeah. Not the not the thing that I expected to see a dick talking to me. <laughs> probably not mine either. Yeah, I would agree with that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh God. Uh. Also, uh, also, I just realized I just looked at the time, so uh, I I actually have to uh medicate myself and do things. So. Uh, okay. Is, I had so much fun talking to you, and I'm just, I'm just really thankful that uh you decided to join me today, and you were willing to uh talk to me. So thank you, very much. I had fun too. I I think it was just a it's just a relaxed time, hanging out, having fun. I never really think much of it, and uh. Yeah, I, I think people, there are times people think that I'm like this weird, crazy, unapproachable asshole. And the all of that's true minus the unapproachable part. People can talk to me. Everything's fine. I don't know. Yeah, You're uh, pretty I, nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, I'm not an asshole. Why would I be an asshole? Like, I'm just here hanging out. Like, uh, it's so much work being an asshole, getting mad all the time. Why do I want to waste my time on that? No, I of mean, course not. We yeah. all have assholes inside of us, you know? That's so true. sometimes it's okay to be an asshole, you know, because it's we okay have to one. let it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate you having me on too. Like I, I really did enjoy it. It was fun. Oh, I'm glad. I'm, I'm, I'm really glad. I was really worried. I was like, man, he, <laughs> I didn't know what to expect, but I'm just really happy. You've been super nice, and I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to be here and hang out with me. Thank you. Oh yeah. I mean, I, 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 I actually had a lot of fun, and I still cannot believe that you play on the same server in Final Fantasy that oh I do. Like God. that's, that is ridiculous. Well, one day we'll run into each other and we'll we'll play. Yeah, that's yeah. right. If you're in the gold saucer, for sure. Oh my God, I love gold saucer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I usually just park my character there. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Me too. It's my favorite place. There you go. Yay! Yeah, I, I appreciate you having me on. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> is this is this the part where we awkwardly end the stream? Yeah, this is the part where we're like, oh, oh, okay, no, you hang up. No, you hang up. You know. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you, you all. Uh, thank, thank you guys, and uh, I'll, I'll see you later. Talk Bye. to you. Bye. Bye. See ya. Mom, Peace. Peace. Oh my God, he's so he <laughs> he's so nice. It's so nice. Uh, I'm sure you guys are already following him, but if you are not, please follow uh, Asmin Gold. He's he's very entertaining. He's very funny, and uh, I I enjoy watching his streams when I have time, you know. But uh, I really appreciate him uh, coming to talk to me, and I'm glad that you guys came today. Thank you all so much for coming, and thank you for being uh, super nice. Uh, even if you guys aren't from my community, thank you to everybody who uh, was nice here today. I appreciate you all. And uh, I love you guys. <laughs> um, I'll have to go now because I have a couple things to do. Uh, but uh, I'm, I will be around later on uh, a friend's stream. So 
thank you. Thank you all. Oh, uh, thank you for... I'm gonna get sappy, but, uh, thank you for changing my life and thank you for, uh... Just making every day super fun for me and for other people too, so... Thank you for being here, okay? Bye! Uh, raid! We're raiding somebody! Bye! I started streaming in 2017. I never had a debut. I just started. And I would stream to one person, two people, three people, four people, five people. You want to know when I started getting more than 50 people watching me? January 2020. I started... I started in 2017. It's not the amount of people that determine whether or not your stream is a success or a failure. Do it. Make your dream come true. Love you, Nasi, and thank you for, for being one of inspirations. Yeah.